off to Leha. Leha with some room on the left side inside the five yard line down to the three and uh, pushes that pile forward into the end zone. Bucks outside here and at the block by Plinicky and Jones. Swings it to the cuffa. Billy's looking. Ramirez puts up a three and he hits All it. Three. That was deep. Five to two, Fredericksburg. Working it inside like Coach Brookshire says. The burning with the rebound. Steal. 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 He's running the last lay, uh, leg. That could be gold. And a gold. And a gold. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> In the third. Brings another one. There's another ground ball. The shortstop fielded by Herber, who fires it over to first base for out number three. Oh, she got a hold of that one. Maybe gone by. There you go. Wow. What a hit. I didn't take her long. Welcome to another Billy's Live production. Find us on your favorite social sites and apps. Like, subscribe, and get notified when we go live. Well, good evening and welcome to Edgewood Stadium in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Randall King, Tim Kamen with you tonight for some battling Billy football. Coming out of an open week, it's time for district football, Coach. Yeah, and it's going to be interesting how we come out of this opening week. You know, we got some uh, had some momentum going into the open week, but, you know, it's been two weeks since the kids have played. Yeah. You know, so uh, it, it'll be interesting to uh, see what happens tonight. We're glad you could join us right here on Billies.Live and TexasRadio.net. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. My name is Rick Barangi, and I'm the owner and founder of Long Neck Manor. I met Donnie uh, several years ago because I was building a state-of-the-art barn for my giraffe, 10,000 square foot barn, and there's nobody in uh, the area, not just Fredericksburg, but in the region that could understand the complexities of building such a structure. Donnie's team is amazing. When they come out here, they're very professional, they're quick, they're thorough. You get a product even better than you expected. Strayer and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. Black Chalk Home and Laundry is one of the most unique home decor and gift boutiques in the Texas Hill Country. Come get lost in the found and unbound items that surprise and delight you around every turn. Steeped in history, our building will take you back to a bygone era that delights the senses. Black Chalk Home and Laundry, a happy place filled with the found and unbound. Come, discover yourself and love your home. Hi, I'm John Ewald with Ewald Kubota, and these are my six daughters. And while life with six girls might not be easy, the Kubota products we sell will make all your tough jobs easy peasy. Like this Kubota SVL 97 that's tough and dependable. It's so easy, even my daughter can use it. Or this Kubota KX080, anyone can operate it. So stop by one of our locations to make your life easier, because buying a new Kubota has to be easier than living with six daughters. At Fredericksburg Eye Associates, ophthalmologist Dr. Zan Plinicky, Charles Cohn, and Amy Cadis provide comprehensive medical and surgical eye care. At their state-of-the-art facility off Highway 87, they use the latest equipment for everything from routine eye exams to monitoring macular degeneration. Cataract procedures include the latest advances in lens design, allowing more freedom from glasses than ever before. Fredericksburg Eye Associates, 830-997-6535. Online at fbgi.com. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. 
Segners has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. Located at 236 West Main Street, or find us on the web at SegnersJewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies! And we are back to Edgewood Stadium in San Antonio, Texas. Battling Billy football tonight. Opening district play against the Memorial Minutemen. And a nice little drive up here. A little bit of traffic coming in. If uh, you're tuning us in on the way into San Antonio, it took us a few minutes here and there to yeah. get through some traffic, but it, nothing too bad. But it makes, it, it makes you appreciate where you live. <laughs> I'll, I'll give me the uh, traffic in uh, Fredericksburg over this. I'll, I'll take that any day. I agree. Football team. The Battling Billies uh, making their way out of the locker room, heading into the tunnel. Uh, the Red Hots across the way. Looks like the band buses have made it as well. Uh, it's the opener of district play, and you reset everything. We've had an open week, and Coach Wilder allowing the kids uh, some opportunity to kind of heal up here and there. They did work out every day last week, yep. uh, but I think it was a great opportunity for uh, the kids to, to heal up if they were a little sore, a little banged up, bruised up, but uh, here they are ready to go tonight. Yeah, and everything starts off, back, you're back 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, you know, I had a, a fairly successful uh, preseason. You know, we lost a, a game to, uh, to Mother Nature uh, against Canyon Lake, but uh, two and two against some a, a really good, uh, you know, some teams that I felt that would prepare us for district. Uh, so yeah, um, we're, you know, we're coming in. We should be healthy. Um, we're rested, uh, but so are they. So it should be an interesting game. So the Billies come in at two and two, and uh, I've been asked a couple of times, "What? Where's that other game?" And uh, well, we had the Lightning, uh, yeah. Canyon Lake. So that game did not <coughs> enter into our record. We were trailing six to nothing uh, late in the second quarter of play. We were unable to complete that game, and uh, but we we come off a win two weeks ago. Uh, ready to play some football here tonight against San Antonio Memorial as both teams have made their way onto the field. Uh, players of the week from two weeks ago, Tim. Uh, boy, that seemed like a long time, and I know it really wasn't, but uh, you got them up there on the screen. Yeah, um, Giovanni Alva, uh, well, that's for the varsity. Of course, you know, he's done a nice job kicking the football. Uh, Omar Neary, um, we've got uh, Victor, well, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Victor Carta Cartatia Cartiga Cart Cartega Cartega yeah Cartiega there we go and uh, we have Jesse Leha of course uh, running back that's just done a, a phenomenal job uh, had 200 yards rushing last week or two weeks ago Gary Seidenberger the line middle linebacker done a great job all year and Leighton Byer uh, along with Edward. Uh, I can't see that last name down there. Yeah, and that's Edward that's Hamilton, Hamilton okay. some of the uh, JV and freshman crew. And, and a big shout-out to David Perez for uh, putting together uh, the pictures of those kiddos. Yeah. He does an awesome job of that graphic. And getting, you know, back to Leighton Byer, you know, uh, Leighton's coming off in, uh, you know, a shoulder injury that he had last year, and uh, it was really good to see him involved. You know, he had three or four catches two weeks ago, and, and those were the first catches of the year for him. So that's a good sign. Yes, exactly. And well, that's one of the things we talk about, getting healthy. And some of these kids uh, had had some off-season issues, and they're getting healed up and ready to go just in time for district play. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll look at the offense and defense in just a moment. The Wizards of Comfort keep the Batland Billies comfortable. Whether you need a heating or AC repair, need to replace your system, or need a tune-up, the Wizards of Comfort have you covered. Fully licensed and insured, locally owned and operated, fair upfront pricing, and flexible financing. Reliable HVAC services backed by the strongest guarantees in your neck of the woods. Give 72 Degrees Air Conditioning and Heating a call today, 830-307-7020, or visit us at 72DegreesTexas.com. As Fredericksburg celebrates 175 years, Arrowhead Bank is celebrating almost 100 years of serving the people of the Texas Hill Country. Our goal has been the same since we opened in Fredericksburg 20 years ago, to combine the relationship banking of yesterday with the technology of today for a better brand of banking. Arrowhead Bank is proud to support our students in all their endeavors, athletic and academic, and we're excited to celebrate their successes this year. Billy Pride, Eberalis. 
Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 423091. My name is Tammy, and I am a Value Med customer. The things that I love the most are the convenience, the speed, then the friendliness. Annette and Betty at the front window are always so friendly. I have called Bill, even Matt, for just personal questions regarding prescriptions or medication. Their helpfulness, uh, willingness to spend the time with me is something you don't get at the larger pharmacies. I just think they are amazing. Hill Country Refrigeration has been providing the Texas Hill Country with quality heat and air conditioning service, installation, and repair for 47 years. They offer dependable, friendly, and professional customer service. Robert and Clara Ann Amers founded Hill Country Refrigeration in 1974, but have been enjoying Batlin Billy sports for a lifetime. The Amers family are born and raised Billy fans. Four generations, that is. Hill Country Refrigeration, where customizing comfort is their award-winning game. From one winning team to another, best of luck, Billy's. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Texas Hill Country Orthopedic, the official sports medicine provider of the Batlin Billies. Our board certified and fellowship trained doctors provide personalized and comprehensive bone and joint care for all ages. We utilize the latest technologies like platelet rich plasma treatments and also unique to the Hill Country, we offer anterior hip replacement. Whether you've suffered a traumatic injury to your shoulder or are just tired of dealing with arthritis pain in your knees, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is here to help. And we are back to Edgewood Stadium in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Randall King, Tim Kamen with you on Billies.Live and TexasRadio.net. Glad you could join us. It is the district opener and a beautiful evening here in San Antonio tonight and uh, getting ready for some football. An opportunity right quick to uh, look over the starting lineups, and uh, you'll see them there on your screen as uh, the Billies all-white uniforms, red numerals, uh, red helmets, and the team captains coming out to uh, meet at midfield, starting offensively tonight for the Batlin Billies. Coach Kamen, you got it there. All right, we're going to talk about this uh, offensive line. It's going to be all important to uh, give uh, Leja some room. we got uh, the two guards are Ben Suarez and Jose Sanchez. The center is Jordan Nixon. Two tackles are Colton Aiken and Garen Betcher. Uh, the receivers, Drake Threadgill, Sam Seidenberger, Leighton Beyer, Charlie Johnson. Uh, in the backfield, we've got Jesse Leha and doing the quarterbacking, senior Will Dagenhart. Kicking team is Will uh, Dagenhart will be the holder. Giovanni uh, Alva will be the kicker. And on defense tonight, as uh, all the team captains meeting out there at midfield, uh, we'll start with uh, the end, uh, Xavier Alvarez. Uh, the two tackles, Yuri Estrada and Sammy DeLuna. The other end, Logan McCarver. Linebackers tonight, uh, Gary Seidenberger, Gabe Rodriguez, and Brett Bowers. At the uh, safety positions, Aaron Cantu and Western Herber. And on the corners, Cristobal Neri and Jackson Chinoth. Uh, punting tonight, Giovanni Alva and the deep snapper will be Gary Seidenberger. As uh, both teams there at midfield with the team captains uh, waiting that coin toss. And looks like uh, they've got it. We'll see what the signal here is from the officials. It should be that... Uh... Memorial won it, but we'll see what they're going to do. They're going to take the ball. Yep, Memorial won the toss and elected to receive. Memorial in their all-blue uniforms, white numerals, uh, blue helmets. And uh, we're ready for some football here tonight, Tim. Yeah, it's been two weeks. Kind of getting with some withdrawals right now. Yeah, I, I feel <laughs> you. And, and I think everyone in our district maybe had open uh, last week. Uh, Memorial comes in tonight at 0-5. And the Billies come in at 2-2, two and two, remembering the game that uh, weather delay and we were unable to get it played against Canyon Lake. And uh, there is potential that we might see Canyon Lake in the playoffs in a few weeks if we can get to that point. Yep. 
And uh, Randall's going to be interesting. Like I said, I think this is really the, the perfect scenario for the Billies. You know, that defense is coming off of that shutout two weeks ago of uh, Marble Falls. And so that's the unit you want uh, on the field first. So we're going to be kicking, and, uh, you know, if we can get a good three and out um, and uh, get good field position and give that offense an opportunity to uh, put some points on the board early. Alva will be kicking uh, right to left as we look at him from the home stadium press box. And the Memorial Minute men have three men back to receive. And we'll get this ball game underway. Scoreboard sponsor tonight, you can see, is SI Wealth Management. We'll tell you more about them as we go. High end over end kick, going to be fielded at the seven yard line over on the far side and going to try to bring it up that hash. And the special teams will be there to stop him at the 21 22 yard line. And that's where Memorial will start things off here tonight in this district opener. That was Jose Fernandez on the return for the Minutemen, tackled by Weston Herbert. Nice job there, uh, coverage. And uh, the Minutemen will take over at their own 22-yard line, first and 10. Just past 7 o'clock, it's Billies.Live and TexasRadio.net bringing you battling Billy football tonight from Edgewood Stadium in San Antonio, Texas. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes the snap, hands off over the left side, and uh, very quickly the Billies are there to stop him. The quarterback, uh, Jordan Ortega, number three. And he's going to be handing the ball off to Jonah Lopez a lot of the time tonight, number 30. But he ran into uh, number 34 for the Billies. That's Samuel DeLuna. Sammy's been having a, a wonderful year. So second down, a gain of one for the Minutemen. Ortega in the shotgun. Going to bring a man in motion, takes the snap, hands off, bounces it to the outside on the little keeper. Uh, kind of a little option there. As uh, Coach Wilder said, they'll run a little double option, and then they will also – Hand off a lot to those two running backs. Yeah, and, and uh, quarterback made a nice read there as he was able to kick it through the to the right side. A nice tackle there by Cristobal Neary for the Billies. That brings up a third down and three. Ortega in the shotgun, one man split right, one to the left. Going to bring a man in motion around the back side, and uh, not much there as Ortega keeps it, gets maybe a yard. It'll be fourth down and two for Memorial. I don't know, Randall, if there was a mix-up on the play there as the quarterback went to fake the handoff and uh, there was no running back. I think he went the other way. So uh, kind of misru- uh, the timing there was uh, disrupted or interrupted, and uh, all of a sudden Billy's, you know, get a, get a three and out. So looks like we've got uh, Jackson Chenoth back to receive, and he's on the near hash as Memorial going to punt this one away. Wobbly spiral going to be fielded by Chenoth at the 37-yard line, and he's going to be wrapped up at the 42, and that's where the Billies will set up shop uh, first down and 10. Good field position, so uh, now we're going to see what that offense can do. Going to be interesting as the offense is miss, missing uh, somebody pretty vital, vitally important. Yeah, and I imagine he's watching us back home. Uh, Coach Huff unable to be here tonight, and uh, – the guys are going to soldier on without him. And Coach, if you're watching, feel free to send us a text if we miss anything. Yeah, don't forget at halftime you can FaceTime those guys and chew them out. That's what I did during <laughs> basketball. So, <laughs> First down and 10 as Dagenhart throws out to the right side and they're going to pick up the first down as he tiptoes down the sideline over there for the Batland Billies. And uh, just a wide receiver screen. And uh, that was Sam Seidenberger uh, got close to the first down. He was knocked out of bounds at midfield, just shy of the first down, second down, and one. Yeah, must have stepped out of bounds over there. So second down and short for the Billies. One in motion coming this way. A little bit of a high snap. Hand off to Leha following that big offensive line. He's down to the 45-yard line, and it'll be a first down. That will move the chains. Yeah, and I think we're going to get a heavy dose of uh, 
Jesse Leha as he's coming off a 200-yard performance against Marble Falls. That sure, that sure does uh, uh, make that uh, open it up for the passing game in which the, the Billies start off with. Empty backfield for Dagenhart. Takes the snap, looking to pass, throws. Incomplete, intended for Leha out here in the flats. And uh, that, that ball just uh, went through Leha's hands. He's going to go back and tell Will, my bad. Second down and 10 for the Batlin Billies inside Memorial Territory at the 45-yard line. One man in the backfield, one in motion. Handoff to Leha. He's going to try that right side, breaks a few tackles, and will have about five yards if they give him forward progression. It'll be third down and five for the Billies. Just a straight give up the middle. And uh, once again, going to be relying on that offensive line. They've got four and a half games under their belt, so getting some experience. Dagenhart in the shotgun, Leha to his right, looking to pass, throws. It's going to be a little bit low, but caught. Short of the first down by Seidenberger. So it's going to be fourth and three for the Billies at the 38-yard line. Yeah, nice catch there by Seidenberger, but he couldn't do anything. He had to go to the ground and uh, going to be shy of the first down. So the Billies should go for it here. Going to split one man out to the left. That is Threadgill. Two to the right. Leha and Seidenberger in the backfield with Dagenhart. Fourth down. And off to Leha. He's going to try to stretch it out, be hit in the backfield for a loss, and the ball will go over on downs to Memorial at the 41-yard line. Just couldn't get the edge there, Coach. Yeah, uh, nice job there uh, by number 52 for the Minutemen. That's Ray Villanueva. Just did a nice job kind of setting the edge, made uh, Leha try to bounce it to the outside, and actually a loss of four on the play. So the ball spotted at the 41 as Memorial comes back out onto the field with their offense. Quarterback, number three, Jordan Ortega. A junior in the shotgun, brings a man in motion. Handoff, actually a little option. It's going to be the pitch is missed. There's a scramble for the ball. I think the Billy's got it. Fredericksburg may have come up with it, as, and they have, so yep. the turnover – will go to the Billies at the 39-yard line. The option pitch just was not there. Uh, the yeah, running actually, back got ahead of the ball, yep. and Billy's very quick to scramble and get on top of it. Yeah, that was Weston Herbert that uh, he saw that ball loose and uh, got on it for the Billies. So the first turnover of the ball game goes to the Billies, and they'll take over at their 30, at the inside the 39-yard line of the Minutemen. So uh, break for, the, for Fredericksburg. Dagenhart in the shotgun. Looks like Sam Seidenberger to his right. Takes the snap. He's going to keep it. And he'll have a few yards. Looks like maybe at least five on the carry. Billies have been successful going straight up the middle. Another gain of five. Second down and five inside Memorial Territory after the turnover. Dagenhart, handoff, nope, fakes, comes back to the left, gets across the 30 before he gets run out of bounds here on the near sideline. We'll see where they mark it. He's right at the first down box. It'll be close. Yeah, I think that, that thing was designed to go to the right side and uh... – I think Memorial did a nice job plugging up all the holes, and uh, you know Dagenhart makes a good decision, goes back to the left, picks up first down. Got the first as they wave the chain gang on. First and ten at the 29. Hand off to Leha, straight up the middle, and Leha down to the 26-yard line. Going to give him three there. Second down and seven. Shout out to the Kingsland crew. They're, they're watching on Billy's.Live. Derek Munn, Tyler Maynard, Kyle Trim. 
Out there on the lake somewhere. Yeah, along with Sean Dory. I tell you what, those guys are probably playing golf <laughs> out there in <laughs> Kingsland. Probably so. Dagenhart takes the snap, looking to pass, throws, trying to find somebody in the corner over there. Incomplete, so that will bring up third down. Uh, yeah, he's trying to get the ball to Charlie Johnson. And ball just thrown a little high. So that will bring up third and seven here for the Billies. Threadgill out here to the left, two men to the right. A little quick pass, just that little wide receiver screen over there, and we'll have the first down inside the 20 to the 17-yard line. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what, what uh, really kind of made that play was Leighton Byer with a nice kick-out block, uh, allowing Johnson to pick up the first down and get to the 17-yard line. First and 10 for the Billies at the 17-yard line. And in motion. That's Leha gets the handoff on just a little sweep, and he's going to have 9 or 10 down inside the 10-yard line. They're marking him at the 7, and looks like they signal first down on this side. We'll see. Yep, it's going to be first and goal. Nice job there by Leha, just following his blockers. I like the fact that he's showing a little more patience running the football, not trying to outrun everybody, but – Stayed behind his blockers, finding the hole, getting some yards. First and goal at seven. Threadgill to the right, Johnson to the left. Handoff to Leha, and he's going to take it right up the middle on the left side, and he's into the end zone on first and goal from the seven. Yeah, just untouched. Uh, just a huge hole there for the Billies. Now they're going to get in the swinging gate, or whatever you like to call that, Randall. <laughs> Point after attempt, and they're going to snap it to, and it's a little option out to the right side. And, they, and they're going to get in. Did he get in yep. for the two-point conversion? That was Leha into the end zone for the two. So first and goal from the seven, and Leha punches it in, and then the point after on the little option pitch to Leha gets across the goal line, and with 5.42 in the first quarter, the Billies grab the lead 8-0. to zero. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. At the Real Estate Advisory Team of Fredericksburg, we know the Texas Hill Country, and we know Texas Hill Country Real Estate. With the Real Estate Advisory Team, you have a team of experienced professionals who use old-fashioned personal service. Along with our cutting-edge technology, we help you buy and sell real estate. Contact the Real Estate Advisory Team today. We would be delighted to help you turn your Hill Country real estate dream into a reality. Make it a great day. Hey, Billy fans, check out this lineup. Pizza. Appetizers. Pasta. Salad. Sandwiches. And full pie. And we are back to kick things away. Alva, high end over end kick, going to be fielded at about the eight yard line. Going to come all the way across towards midfield before he's dropped inside the 20 for a short gain on the return. Yes. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is a SI Wealth Management. Have you ever been confused by all the options in the investment world? Schedule some time with Scott Emmel or Mark Southard at SI Wealth Management. Whether as simple as rolling over a 401k or creating a college savings plan or an efficient way of transferring wealth for future generations, identifying the need is the key to identifying the strategy. Give Scott Emmel a call at 830-992-3464 and schedule an appointment today. And with first play uh, in this series, uh, quarterback keeper, as they run the read and tries to go, go up the middle, uh, gets back to the line. Oh, they're actually going to give him a loss on the play. Nice job there by Logan McCarver for the Billies. Second down and 11. Uh, we want to give a shout-out to Coach Flick, and congratulations, the 
proud papa of a new a baby girl. Yeah. He's at home with her, so congratulations, Coach Flick. Glad you're tuned in, and Becca. Short game there for the Minutemen. It'll bring up third down and eight here in the first quarter of play. Fredericksburg with the lead, eight to zero. Defense has done a nice job building on uh, getting better and better each week, getting the shutout two weeks ago at Marble, or against Marble Falls. Ortega in the shotgun. Takes a man in motion. Pitch going to come this way to the man in motion. Just a little sweep and uh, no gain on the play. I think gets back to the line of scrimmage, and it'll bring up fourth down and eight. Boy, nice job there by Seidenberger. That's Gary playing that in the middle linebacker, and he just uh, went downhill, found the football, and uh, tackled the, the uh, running back at the line of scrimmage. So uh, Billy sh should get the ball in good uh, field position with Chenoth at about his own 45. The senior running back, Jose Fernandez, the ball carrier there, number 20 for Memorial. Chenoth standing at about the 45, ready to return this punt. Punt by Francisco Ontiveros. Chinoth will catch it at the 50 in stride, breaks a tackle or two down this sideline before he's bumped out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Nice return there by Jackson. Yeah, 18-yard uh, return, giving uh, the ball to the Billies at the 30-yard line of the Minutemen. So, boy, Bill the Billies have had outstanding field position so far here in the first half. Yep, overcame the... Uh, turnover on downs after going for it on fourth down by picking up a fumble on the ensuing play. And here they are, first and 10 at the Memorial 31-yard line. Degenhart looking to pass, a little swing pass. And it'll be, just, is that Seidenberger trying to see or was that Threadgill? Yeah, that Seidenberger. Seidenberger. And they've run that play a number of times. And have been successful, a pickup of seven. Second down and three. Short field here for the Billies as uh, Charlie Johnson splits out here to the near side. One man to the right. Ball on the far hash. Degenhart hands off. And nice running there by Seidenberger as uh, he's going to take that one to the house uh, from the 24-yard line. A nice 24-yard carry there for Sam Seidenberger as Leha kind of gets out in front of him. Yeah, there he got and, a nice uh, block there the by way. Him, yeah. and, boy, just nearly a hold, but he kind of got swung around. But 24-yard touchdown run there for Sam Seidenberger and the point after attempt up and coming. And it looks like Giovanni Alva will tee this one up. Low snap, gets it on the tee, kick is up, and it is good. With two minutes, 53 seconds to play in the quarter, Fredericksburg 15, Memorial 0. We'll be back in just a moment. At Hill Country Propane, Inc., we work hard to earn your propane business. Do you need propane delivery for your home? We're on it. Refilling propane cylinders for your grill? We're on it. Filling up your RV and our easy drive through we're on it. Savings on RV and cylinder fills. We're on it. For all your propane needs, choose Hill Country Propane, Inc. Because we're on it. Hill Country Propane, Inc. Go Billies! Please join us in keeping Fredericksburg and Gillespie County special. Be Texas friendly. Share the road. Put litter in its place. Respect private property. And protect our dark skies. Thank you for caring about our community. Well, we're not as good as we were last year, but we're still pretty solid. Back to Edgewood Stadium for the kickoff. Giovanni Alva has it teed up and ready to kick away. Good high end over end kick. 
to be fielded at about the 10-yard line by Memorial coming right straight up the middle. And, man, he's going to take a hit at the 19-yard line, and that's where Memorial will set up shop. Aaron Cantu, once again, that's a second straight uh, tackle he's made on special teams. Well, he's done a nice job of getting down. He's got some speed for a freshman. Coach Huff checking in with us there, and uh, he says, man, Billy's looking sharp in all phases. Uh, no rust on those battling Billies. That's a good sign. Thanks, Coach, for checking in with us, and we hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Wish you were here. Yeah, and, uh, and have a, a speedy recovery. Exactly. First down and 10 for Memorial. Ball at the 19-yard line. Going to hand off over the left side, and uh, that defense is right there to greet him. Not much doing there for the Minutemen. Yeah, you, you really have to give uh, the Billy coaching staff, uh, you know, kudos for, uh, you know, making sure because it very easily could have been, you know, rusty, being rusty, you know, and not having to play in two weeks. And, well, the kids have come out ready to play on both sides. Exactly. Second down and ten. Here in the first quarter, two minutes, 12 seconds to go. The SI Wealth Management scoreboard with a lead for the Billies, 15-0. Ortega looking to pass, going to throw out here. It's going to be an incomplete pass, go out of bounds, and it will bring up third down and 10. Yeah, good coverage there by Brett Bowers. And uh, might be a good thing that ball was thrown high because Bowers was coming, nice anticipation, and... Uh, um, really jumped that route. Could have been a pick six. Incomplete pass stops the clock with a minute 59 in the first quarter of play. Girls volleyball, you said, won the first set against Navarro. That's the first update we had. Yeah, Coach, that's a big Co game. Coach Christy Dance down there going to keep us posted all evening. Third down and 10. Man in motion. Ortega fakes the toss, and then he turns and throws, and it's going to be picked off at the 40-yard line by the Billies. And uh, Cheniff got uh, – he just threw it to Cheniff. Yeah, he just high-pointed that ball, jumped up there and grabbed it, and the Billies will have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Nice catch there and pulls it in. Don't forget uh, – Something to do on Monday nights, Wilder at West End. Monday night fun. Join the Billies.Live crew for Wilder at West End every Monday night throughout the football season. Be a part of the live studio audience as show host J.D. Rose and head football coach Bill Wilder highlight the best plays from the previous game. Talk a little strategy for the next one. Bring your appetite for a great time as we get Wilder at West End. Monday's at 6.30, or just join us on Billy's.Live. Dagan Hart looking to pass, puts this one up deep, trying to hit. And it's caught. And, and it's caught at the five-yard line, going to be marked down at the two. As, uh, boy, he just put that one up in the air, and Seidenberger pulls it in. Yeah, and the Billy's are going to quickly get to the line of scrimmage. Nice catch by Sam Seidenberger as Dagenhart just laid it in there for him. Handoff over the right side. Was that Leha? No, nah, that's 22. I think that's Borjas. Giovanni Borjas in for the score. Two-yard run. Quick hitter there off the interception as uh, the Billies hit a big pass play and then a short handoff to Giovanni Borjas to extend the lead here in the first quarter of play. Giovanni Alva will attempt the point after. We've got one minute 30 to go here in the first quarter. There's a snap, good hold there. And it is good. So with one minute, 30 seconds to play in the first quarter, Fredericksburg extends their lead. It is now 22 to zero. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, my name is Greg Nebgen with 4N Cattle Company. I want to talk to you a little bit about J4 Trailer and my experience. 
So I was looking for a new cattle trailer. Stopped by, talked to Josh, customized what I wanted. I own a local business. I want to do my business local. Prices were very competitive. I looked at trailers everywhere. They were $1,000 cheaper, if not more. I was going to buy local anyway. They beat everybody in price. And then they even delivered it. J4 Trailer, that's where I got mine. the chase and the hunt and i set the pace when i'm running i always take what i want and i always give it 100 don't need a bank no i'm funded play the game like it's nothing i'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend to me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so i can make a better me to that offensive line, like I said, they're getting better and better each week. Alva's kick goes into the end zone for the touchback, and a Memorial will send that offense out onto the field. Already two turnovers tonight uh, for San Antonio Memorial. And Got a shout-out from Ricky Lott. He said the legend Cole Emmel, who was uh, quarterback last year for the Billies, and his dad, Scott, are at the D-Bar Ranch tuning in. So, guys, what's up? Uh, enjoy the game and the technology right yeah makes all of this possible you can go to the ranch and watch still watch football exactly as long as you can get a cell signal or (laughs) internet (laughs) first down and 10 far memorial at the 25 yard line memorial brings a man in motion and uh quarterback ortega just going to keep it himself and he'll have three or four see where the official spots it as uh, that Billy defense converges on him very quickly. Yeah, tough run in there by Ortega. Going to pick up three, second down and seven. Beautiful night for football. A little bit of a breeze out there. Yeah, it's starting to get cooler and cooler. Yeah. I like that. Feeling more like fall every day. Volleyball girls had won the first set. We'll keep you updated. They are in Navarro tonight. Second down and seven for Memorial. Hand off coming this way. Going to try to stretch the field. And uh, good job there as, uh, once again, it's that uh, Gary Seidenberger. As, uh, boy, he just tracks that ball. He is a ball hawk. Yes, he is. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been hit by Gary. But uh, <laughs> I if, don't you have have been, <laughs> if you have been hit, but you know it. So, uh but, yeah, but that, that play there was made by number two, uh, Brett Bowers. He just strung – he strung that out to the left and uh, made, the, made, the, the, uh, made the runner continue to go as wide as he could. And, and, and of course, Seidenberger's got good speed. Yes, he And he, he was does. able to track him down. Well, I, I think if I was going to be hit by Seidenberger, I'd think fast, run fast. Yeah, you sound like, uh, you, you, you know, you sound like there, what was it, Chad Powers, think fast, run fast? Yeah, Eli. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter of play. Fredericksburg with the lead 22-0. to zero. We'll take a quick break and be back with second quarter action after this. Do you have a good head coach to draw up a play for your retirement plan? Have you done the practice drills necessary to produce a good portfolio? If not, contact Joseph Financial Partners. They will sit you down in front of the chalkboard and walk you through all the X's and O's. They'll set up your offense and your defense so you're prepared for the good days and the bad days. If you're not sure about your coach or the plays that you're running, contact Joseph Financial Partners, 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA SIPC. Security State Bank and Trust. We've been building the communities we call home since 1941. That includes supporting our students, teachers, and schools. Behind each student is a community investing in what matters most. Security State Bank and Trust. Proud supporters of Batlin Billy Sports. We're rooting for your success on and off the field. We're proud to say we're small enough to know you by name and large enough to serve all your financial needs. Security State Bank and Trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Third down and five, and a little option key, uh, play there for, you'll see the replay here right quick, a little option, and uh, Ortega decides to keep it, and, boy, he gets rolled up for about a four-yard loss. A and nice play there by Xavier uh, Avilas. So fourth down and eight, fourth down and nine, somewhere in that vicinity. Ball at the 27-yard line as Memorial 
will punt this one away. Jackson Chanel standing at the 38. Ready to receive. Good snap. Left-footed kicker. It's a good foot into it. And right to Jackson at the 39. He's going to start up that left hash. Get it inside Billy territory to the 35. As uh, and what number is that, Tim? Yeah, number seven, a new run, uh, new uh, oh, returner. Reed. Yeah, Reed Sorry. Yeah, I just automatically assumed that was number nine. Nice run back by Spees. Boy, at the uh, 35-yard line of the Minutemen. First down and ten for Fredericksburg as uh, second quarter action. Billy's lead 22 to zero on the SI Wealth Management scoreboard. Dagenhart in the pistol. He's got Leha behind him. Seidenberger in motion to the far side. Hand off to Leha right straight up the middle. And uh, boy, he just keeps moving that pile. Nine yards on the carry. Be second down and one. Yeah, that offensive line getting a good push. Well, they're definitely winning the line of scrimmage. In fact, both line, offense and defensive line, have, have controlled the line of scrimmage. So second down and one. As a, Was there a flag, Tim? I'm looking at the officials. Well, Must there's some I, discussion yeah. here. I did not see a yellow flag on the field. No, I didn't either. Oh, yeah, he picked it up far right. Okay. Okay, that's a personal foul against the Billies. So it's going to be a 15-yard mark off against Fredericksburg. It looked like that it came from the back judge, so uh, it might have uh, been one of the receivers downfield. So that will negate that nice run there by Leha, and it'll be first down and 16. Ball at the uh, 41. And Randall, you know, it's been a fairly – I think that may be the first penalty of the ball game. Yes. So, it's been a clean game. I believe you're right. Dagenhart looking to pass. Plenty of protection. And uh, he's going to get flushed out. And, uh, yeah, there's going to be a away. hold. Yep, there's going to be a hold on this backside over here. As I saw him throw it, but I didn't – no, I, he threw something. Unfurl or <laughs> well, he threw something else. See, I think <laughs> here on the replay, I think he threw his wallet instead <laughs> of the flag. <laughs> he realized it, and then he went, Yeah, oh, I'm okay. going to say <laughs> in the replay there, I think he threw his wallet out there on the field and, and then had to reach back and grab the flag. So it's going to be. Another mark off for a hold against the – yeah. You, I missed that. What was that? He said got lots of big money. <laughs> so that's going to be a mark off against the Billies for the hold. First down and 16 plus uh, 10. So 22-0, Billies with the lead here. Holding is the call. And Billy's going in the wrong direction. Well, what looked like a promising drive at the 35. Now it's all the way back into their own territory. So first down and 26 for Fredericksburg. Ball on the far hash. Two men left. Going to send Charlie Johnson in motion to the far side. Dagenhart gets the snap. Looking to pass. Pressure coming. Setting up a screen for Leha. He's got some blockers out in front. He's inside the 40. The 35 is going to be brought down from behind at the 31-yard line. And, uh, boy, he makes up a big chunk of that yardage there. Yeah, picked up 19. Nice job there. Good call, uh, play call right at the, at the right time as uh, the Minutemen started to bring some pressure. Billy's going to go hurry up under center. Dagenhart hand off to Leha, and he stumbles at the 30. Falls forward down to the 20. 6, 27, we'll see where they mark it, and it'll be third down and two for Fredericksburg. Very quickly to the line of scrimmage, and they're going to get Memorial with an offsides if they did not get a timeout call, and Memorial yeah, they did. Timeout. They did call a timeout. We'll keep it right here on Billy's.Live. Uh, our uh, title sponsor tonight, if you're looking at the scoreboard, is SI Wealth Management. Have you ever been confused by all the options in the investment world? 
Well, schedule some time with Scott Emmel or Mark Southard at SI Wealth Management. Whether as simple as rolling over a 401k, creating a college savings plan, or an efficient way of transferring wealth for future generations. Identifying the need is the key to identifying the strategy. 830-992-3464 to schedule your appointment today. SI Wealth Management, where a handshake and a look in the eye still mean something. 22-0 on the scoreboard here for the Billies as we had a timeout called by Memorial. Uh, They were trying to make some substitutions and didn't quite have the personnel on the field that they wanted. Fredericksburg trying to catch them in a little bit of a hurry up there and get a five-yard penalty. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they had when it was uh, second and long, you know, they had uh, more of their pass pass rush in. And off coming this way as going to pick up the first down close to the 20-yard line. That's the freshman. Uh, That is Aaron Cantu on the uh, carry. That's his first carry of the year. Yep, I believe so. Nice carry there by Aaron as uh, you see him on the replay. Uh, Runs into that first tackler and just keeps churning those feet forward to get to the 21 and pick up the first down for the Billies. Dagan Hart in the shotgun, brings a man in motion. Now holds him up at the line, looking to pass, rolling left, throwing, and an incomplete pass. It'll bring up second down and ten. Boy, and that really was a nice throw there by Dagan Hart as he's rolling to his right, and he put that uh, where no one but uh, Charlie Johnson could catch as you see it right here. And, uh, well, you know, because the receiver or the defender is right there, but it's a well-thrown ball. I think Charlie went back and said, hey, I should have had that one. Second down and 10. Dagan Hart in the shotgun. Takes that snap. Hands off to Sam Seidenberger. Gets a nice kick-out block. He's going to be down close to the 10-yard line. Good hard run there by Seidenberger. Yeah, and what I like, Randall, is uh, – Everybody's doing their job. They're getting nice uh, blocks by the running backs. You know, the receivers are doing a nice job blocking. If you, if you look right here, You'll watch see. 24. Yeah, Aaron Cantu it, 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 makes guy a comes nice up, block. Boom. Yep. yep, and he's able to cut it back up the middle. And off or going over the right side is uh, going to be a touchdown there for the Billies. As uh, we got caught up in the replay yep. there, but I believe Aaron Cantu carried that one in. Yeah, a 12-yard run, yep. So Cantu, the freshman, Getting his first chance uh, at some carries on varsity and making the most of it as uh, he punches it in from 12 yards out and extends that lead 28 to 0. Giovanni Alva in to take care of the point after duties. Eight minutes, 50 seconds to play in the first half. Good snap, kick is up. And it is good. Billy's lead 29-0 from Edgewood Stadium. We'll be back after this break. This broadcast is supported by Votive Hospice, a family-owned hospice founded by Fredericksburg natives. Votive Hospice is Fredericksburg's only joint-commissioned accredited hospice and Fredericksburg's first community-based palliative care, which means their team can help you or your loved one prior to needing hospice at no cost to you and your family. Led by Dr. Rad Kothman and certified hospice and palliative care nurse Carrie Weaver. Visit votivehospice.com. They're with you. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student-teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all-you-can-eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. And we're back to Edgewood Stadium, Fredericksburg, with a 29-0 lead here in the first half of play. Alva has it teed up, kicks kicks it away. Good end-over-end kick. Going to be fielded at about the 10-yard line. Going to bring it up that far hash. Now cuts to the middle of the field. Fumble. Fumble on the play. Going to be a scramble for the ball. Fredericksburg says they have it. And wait for an official signal yeah, here. Bobby Johnson, number 11, falls on it. Yep, uh, Charlie gets it. 
And the Billies will take over possession at the 26-yard line with a comfortable lead. Don't miss out on any Billies.Live action this year. Be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you'll get notified whenever we go live. It's that simple. Over 160,000 devices watched Billies.Live last year, and we want to thank you for joining us here tonight for Billies Football. 29-0, 29-0, Fredericksburg with another, uh, picks up another turnover at the 26-yard line. So first down and 10, and Dagenhart going to throw that little wide receiver screen over to the outside and uh, breaks a few tackles before stepping out of bounds, Drake Threadgill. Yeah, and, and the Billies have uh, been successful with that uh, quick screen and uh, pickup of, we'll call it eight. So second down and two. So second down and two for the Billies as they come to the line of scrimmage. Dagenhart looking to pass. Plenty of time in the pocket. Throws up the middle. And uh, that's Seidenberger again. Be a first and goal from the eight-yard line. He's going to get inside the 10-yard line a uh, 12, 13-yard pass and catch. Giovanni Borjas will check out, and Reed Spees will check in. Leha also in the backfield there, along with Seidenberger. Dagenhart, handoff coming this way. That's Reed Spees, and, uh, boy, he stretches it out. We'll see if they get him a touchdown. He gets it. uh, Spees from eight yards out. Good hard running there by Reed, and he just got both feet on the ground, and, Made a little dive for the end zone. Yeah, a great second effort by uh, Spees. It looked like he was going to be just shy. And uh, when you see him get here a hit at the two-yard line, he keeps running, keeps running, and dives. Nice job there. Yep, good stretch to get that ball across the goal line. Alva to attempt the point after. Good snap and hold. Kick is up, and it is good. Seven minutes, 45 seconds to play in the half. Billy's lead 36 to zero. We'll be back in just a moment. You can't think about HCM and not see the fingerprints of this community all over it. This community loves this organization and this organization is so deeply dependent on this community to make sure we can deliver great health care. It's that interdependence that means that we will be able to serve our community for generations to come. Welcome to Hill Country Memorial. Welcome to Remarkable. We love living in the country. My husband works from home, and I teach our five youngest children here as well. Fast, uncapped, reliable internet is critical for our family. And that's exactly what we've gotten from Bee Creek for over 10 years now. Bee Creek Communications, always on high-speed internet. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you can get. Let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. Billy's looking good here from Edgewood Stadium. Aaron Cantu and Reed Spees punching those last two in on the replay there. And a good kickoff there by Alva as the Billy defense has him swarmed and down at the uh, 19-yard line and a little late hit there going to be called against the Billies as the whistle had already blown. And so Fredericksburg will allow yeah. a 15-yarder there. Yeah, you and, have them wrapped up. There's no reason. I mean, you, you, I could hear the whistle from here, and I'm up all the way up here. So, uh, you know, you, you just got to – when the whistle blows, you know, you don't have to throw the guy to the ground. So, uh, penalty on the billies. And the official going to step that one off here from the 20. Well, they're not going to step it off. Well, the flag's still down. I think they're still going to step it off. They're going across the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
So unsportsmanlike conduct against the Billies. Yep. But no Markov. I, I missed something there. Um, I think they're missing something. They. Well, wait a minute. Let's. Yeah, I had yeah. a head coach here from Memorial coming over there saying, "Wait a minute, guys, <laughs> we need to mark that ball." Yeah, and usually, here we go. Yeah, uh, usually no. when there's a penalty, that means <laughs> yardage is going somewhere. Yeah, either forward or backwards. Uh, they were still sorting things out over there, talking to Coach Wilder, and kids were ready to play. Yeah, and thought, "Well, wait a minute, that puts the ball at the 35-yard line." Billy's lead. 36-0 on the SI Wealth Management scoreboard. Memorial, three men to the right, one to the left. Going to bring a man in motion. Handoff goes to the man in motion. A penalty marker down here in the backfield as uh, Seidenberger will uh, wrestle that running back down at the 30. And uh, they have not figured out how to slow Sam, uh, G Gary Seidenberger down just yet. Yeah. Well, even when you get in his way, you're not, you, you know, I don't know if that slows him down. I mean, that's like a 16-wheeler yeah, running yeah. right at you. You know, I, I think kids even move out of his way going down the hall at school. And he's a pretty nice guy. Well, you know, he played <laughs> basketball when he was a freshman, and I always got out of his way when I was on the court. <laughs> you made sure you were behind the bench. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And even sometimes that probably wasn't he, good enough. He was my enforcer. <laughs> Maybe I need him to come play some doubles on the tennis court. Oh, my goodness. I can't imagine what he'd do that tennis ball. <laughs> Second down and a loss of four brings it to 14. As Memorial gets the play call in. Just over seven minutes to play here in the half. Everyone in tight. Ball on the far hash. Man in motion, going to hand off. I believe that handoff went to Jonah Lopez. And no gain on no, the play, he's loss hit, on the play. Yeah, he's hit by three or four billies. Uh, so many numbers there. It's hard to, hard to see who that was. Looked like Emmanuel Benitez was one of them, along with 68, Brian De La Fuente. So those are some new names right now. So, uh. Coach Wilder getting uh, getting some of those other guys some ex uh, valuable experience. Yep. Third down and 15 here for Memorial. Brings a man in motion. Quarterback Ortega fakes the handoff. He's got a first down and up to midfield as uh, the Billies kind of bit on the fake, and he crosses midfield to the 49, and that will bring – up a first down carry that may be their first down of first first down of the ball game. It is, Coach. but that was a nice play by Ortega. As he made a nice read, and uh, that time the end came crashing in, and he took it back, went around a corner, and uh, when you give up that uh, that sideline, that's uh, that's not a good thing. I'm yeah. sure Coach uh, Wilder will uh, will talk to the guys about that. And that's one of the few things, uh, one one of the few uh, big plays that they've gotten tonight. And and good speed, boy. Once he got around that corner, yeah. he he turned on his jets. First down and ten, as uh, Memorial is going to uh, call timeout and discuss this. Is this the first time in Billy territory? Uh, Going to mention our newest sponsor tonight, uh, Blue Ribbon Company. Uh, Billy's Dot Live would like to welcome the most recent addition to our supportive sponsors, Blue Ribbon, serving the Hill Country since 1989. They love what they do, and we love what they do. Screen printing, embroidery, shirts, caps, all sorts of ways to promote your company or special occasion. Visit their shop out on Industrial Loop, and be sure to tell Jorge and Melody and the rest of the gang that you were hearing it on Billy's.live, and uh, we sent you over there. Man, I, I'll be honest, I've been doing business with them for 29 years, Coach. And, uh, all their kids played tennis for me. Uh, they do a great job. Um, uh, they turn out the T-shirts. Oh, there, they Coach. do. They, they do and do a great job, like you said. First down and 10 for Memorial. Handoff straight up the middle, and uh, Boy, he Billy's are there to meet him and nothing doing. Uh, they're going to give him the line of scrimmage, but it'll be second down and ten. Yeah, he ran into Gabriel Rodriguez, one of the linebackers, and, uh, boy, what a shot there by uh, Rodriguez. As we've get an, we get an update, Coach Dance, thank you. At uh, 
Set two, uh, the Lady Billies, 25-16, winner of set one and two. So I've got a two-set to zero lead over Navarro. A big game. Navarro right now is in second place. So, uh, you know, Billy's knocked them off. If they can continue and, and get the uh, win tonight, uh, that's going to put them in a tie for second. Tough loss on Tuesday night if uh, you were there or watched it on uh, Billy's.live. And Lady Billy's trying to bounce back. Stay in that playoff chase yep. in, the, in the second round of that district loop. Well, I'm telling you, I, this may be the, the toughest volleyball district in the state. I, We've got four, five quality teams. Exactly. Quarterback uh, penalty is uh, down in the backfield as uh, looks like that Aaron can yep. too, and they're making the tackle. Boy, this freshman says, hey, I'm going to play, Coach. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you what I got. He's getting an opportunity, and he's making the most. And that's what you got to do, you know, uh, uh, it's it's when you get that opportunity, you've got to do something with it. And, uh, you know, this may be, hey, I, I get some more playing time. And, and it, what it does, it creates a little more depth. Yep. So loss of five brings up third down and 15. It was an offsides call against Memorial. It was declined. So third down and 15, ball back in Minuteman territory. Handoff right straight up the middle. And a uh, fullback with a carry of five yards gets it back to the original line of scrimmage, fourth down and ten. That was Francisco Ontiveros. He's a, he's a pretty big kid right there. Uh, needed uh, needed a couple uh, battling Billy defenders to bring him down. A good pickup, pick up a six. Memorial will punt this one away on fourth and ten. A quick shout-out to my folks, uh, uh, Mary and Joe King, listening back in uh, Brady, Texas, and my mother says my two nephews who play football out at Rochelle got the win tonight against Lone by a score of 50 to nothing. Six, wow. Six man Six action. man. Yep. That's good. Both those boys play, my brother's kids, and congratulations to them and the Hornets tonight. Fourth and ten. Left-footed kicker gets the ball away. And uh, Reed Spee is going to let this one bounce, and it will be downed inside the ten. We'll see where he Spots it at the six-yard line, and that's where the Batland Billies will set up shop. Uh, the girls' volleyball team up two sets to none as uh, Coach Dance has given us a quick update there and uh, hope they can keep rolling down there in Navarro. Yep. Navarro, you said the second-place team in second the district. Place, yep. We're sitting fourth. Tied for third. Tied for third, okay. Hadn't looked at those standings after Tuesday night, so. It is uh, well. When, look, going over it, it was seven and zero was uh, Davenport, who is who is extremely good. Yes, and then Navarro was at five and two. The Billies uh, and uh, Wimberley at four and three. Uh, Bernie was three and four, followed by Canyon Lake and Bandera. Dagenhart hands off to Leha. Boy, he cuts it to the left and runs into a wall of blue, and nothing doing there for Jesse as uh, it'll be a. Second down and 10. No gain on the play. Yep, no gain there at all. But, uh, yeah, uh, big uh, big game uh, because what it also is going to do, Randall, it uh, it's going to give the Lady Billies the uh, tiebreaker uh, over um, Navarro because they be- will, will, would have beaten them twice if they can hold on tonight. Exactly. A little bit of a low snap. Dagenhart handles it, looking to pass out of the end zone. Now he's going to keep it. Leha going to try to give him a little bit of a block there, and yeah, it's a flag. Yeah. It's going to be a block in the back as uh, Jesse uh, just trying to help out. Well, and, you, you uh, like the fact that he's trying, but uh, you, you got just you got to realize you can't do that. Yeah. And, uh, you can't push a guy in the back. So, so that's going to uh, – That'll be half the distance, yeah. I would guess. Well, it depends on where he where he, they knocked him out of bounds. You might want to, because really half the distance is maybe going to be about three or four yards. Yep. So that's going to put him back at the three yard line. You, you just don't want a penalty here in the end zone. That will uh, that will count as a safety. So still got to be a little careful here. Second down and. Call that 13. Dagenhart standing in the end zone, looking to pass. Throws across the middle. Uh, Nice fingertip catch there by Leighton Beyer. 
as uh, he's going to have the first down and give Fredericksburg a little breathing room at the 18-yard line. Boy, and he showed some – watch this. This ball's thrown just a little behind him, and you're right. He showed some r- uh, real strong fingers there as he catches the backside of that football. Nice job there by uh, Dagenhart. I mean, Dagenhart hitting uh, Leighton Byer. Nice yep. job there by Byer. Two men split right, two to the left. Pistol formation for Dagenhart. Leha in the backfield. Dagenhart trying to set up that little screen over on the far side. Gets a few blocks, and he'll have 10 yards on the completion. And that was uh, Jackson Chenoff with the, with the reception. And there's, once again, that wide receiver screen. Phillies have been very successful on that. Haven't seen a, a lot of that. In the previous four games. Yeah, yeah, been very uh, off and on, and it, it could be a difference of who's calling the plays over there. Well, and, too, and it could be, you know, the fact that, you know, you don't want to show your hand all the time, you know, as you go into district. Dagenhart looking to pass, throwing. It is complete to Charlie Johnson at the 40-yard line, steps out of bounds that's at gonna, the 41. Yeah, that's going to be enough for the first. Nice timing uh, on that as uh, Dagenhart threw it as – uh, Johnson was coming out of his uh, route. Yep, two minute, two minutes until half. You almost want to say two minute warning, but uh, there's only two minutes to go until halftime. First down and ten for the Billies. A little bit of movement on that defensive line, and uh, we'll see if they were drawn offsides. Yeah, I think they were trying to get the old, the old free play, but. Uh, Yep. Uh, offsides against Memorial. Five-yard markoff. That'll be first and five now for the Billies. Moves the ball out to the 46. Billies with a nice drive as they started at their own seven-yard line, got down to the three-yard line. Dagenhart rolling to his left, looking to pass, throws. Pass is caught at the 43-yard line. And uh, that was Charlie Johnson once again making the play. That'll move the chains. And Johnson going out there about 10, 11 yards and then running an out pattern. And uh, nice throw there as he's rolling to his left. That's always a tough thing to do. Uh, as a right-handed quarterback, and that's a nice job of get his hips turned, make that throw. Ball at the 39. Dagenhart looking to pass again as a little pressure is going to flush him out. He's going to keep it and uh, carry it down to the 34-yard line, so a short gain there for Will as uh, he's flushed out of the pocket. Yeah, but more importantly, he stops the clock. Uh, with a a minute 10 to go. So nice job there of not taking a hit. He picked up five, good yardage there. Go out of bounds, stop the clock, don't take the hit. So nice job there by Dagenhart, second down and 10. Jackson Chenot split out to the left side, ball on the far hash. Going to throw out there on the left. It is complete. Picks up a few yards. Uh, I'm going to call that eight, and it'll be a first down inside the 30. Yeah, we got a flag on the play over there, and I think it's going to be against the uh, the receiver. That might have been Seidenberger. If we see that play again, see if he pushes here in the back. Eh, yeah, hard to tell. You got a little of him, but I don't. Yeah, that's that's hard to tell. But yep. you're right. Uh, so it was, that was the call as a block in the back. And it'll back things up there for the Billies and replay second down. You know, I think the Billies may be uh, setting up a little hitch and go here. They've gone with that short pass, short pass, short pass. Let's see if you can get them to bite coming up hard and then go long. We'll see. Two men to the right, two to the left. Billy's move left to right as we look at him from the home press box. <laughs> there it is. All men going deep, and he's going to throw just kind of here down low to Charlie Johnson, and uh, Johnson will fumble it, but I think he was going out of bounds at the 30-yard line, short of the first down by about a yard. There's a flag, and it's, I mean, it's on. It's out of bounds. What? 
don't know what the flag is. Maybe a face mask. We'll see here on the replay. Gets rid of that ball. And uh, I don't know. I, I didn't see anything there uh, unless it was a uh, targeting because he did lower his head. You know, and Randall, that's exactly what they were trying to do. They ran the, the little hitch and go, and uh, nothing was there on the left side. And uh, Dagenhart does a nice job of, of making. Uh... Unsportsmanlike conduct call against the Billies. And uh, he proceeds. I didn't catch the number there, but uh, he said that's their first. So second one would uh, disqualify him yep. from the game. <clears throat> yeah, yeah I, 60. I didn't, I didn't catch the rest of it either. Uh, and maybe 64. Regardless, it's a mark off against Fredericksburg and now second down. And 15, 16 to go. Well, Randall, I think what they did, he was a yard shy of the first down. They called it after the play, so 15-yard penalty. So, actually, uh, it's going to be third down and 16. Yeah, loss of down, unsportsmanlike conduct. So, Dagenhart going to do a little razzle-dazzle here, a delayed handoff to Leha, and he will pick up the first down at the 23-yard line as uh, – they were just biting on that fake there that he was going to roll out and pass that ball. Nice play there. Just a little, Leha just turned around, yeah. picked, took the hand off, and off he went. Just a little misdirection draw there as the Billies will call timeout with 15 seconds to go. Fredericksburg maybe try to set up a field goal here and give uh, Alva a chance to show off that leg again. Well, they've got 15 seconds. I Really, they've got... Well, they've got two timeouts. I think they can get two more plays off, uh, and then if they have to, they can always go to Leha. Leha's had a wonderful year this year. Uh, had a, a season-high 46-yard field goal. Uh, he's also had a 38-yarder, so, uh, you know, just he's an outstanding kicker for the Billies. Hopefully we don't need to get three. We can go ahead and get six. Yep. It's going to be first down, and the Billies will look to try to get something on the board here in addition. You know, you've got a time, you've got two timeouts. So, you know, I kind of like to come back to that play with uh, uh, Bayer going right down the seam, middle of the field. Ball at the 22-yard line, two-man split right, one to the left. Dagenhart. And off to Leha. Going to start on that left side, cut it back up at the 20, down to the 19. Need to call timeout. Clock at five seconds. And the Billies are going to let it go down in one second before they what, what? – uh, No timeout called as uh, Fredericksburg elects to just let that clock run out. Okay. And I, uh, I, I go into the locker room at halftime with a 36-0 to zero lead. We'll take a break and be back with some halftime scores from around the area and look at volleyball and other sports going on in Billy's Nation. Stay with us. This is Randall King, Tim Kamen on Billy's.Live. My name is Rick Barangi, and I'm the owner and founder of Long Neck Manor. I met Donnie uh, several years ago because I was building a state-of-the-art barn for my giraffe, 10,000 square foot barn, and there's nobody in uh, the area, not just Fredericksburg, but in the region that could understand the complexities of building such a structure. Donnie's team is amazing. When they come out here, they're very professional, they're quick, they're thorough. You get a product even better than you expected.
presentation of Miss Gail Savage and artistic director Miss Jennifer Boyd. The Red Hots are led by Lieutenant Elizabeth Boyd, Lieutenant Taylor Harris, Lieutenant Kaylee Crimwelby, First Lieutenant Talia Giacola, and Captain Miss Georgia Simpson Hahn. Tonight's Red Hot of the Week is my daughter, Miss Ella Grandy. We are proud to recognize our gold sponsor, Fredericksburg Veterinary Center, Dr. Neil and Melissa Eckert. has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. Haberdashery, modern, inspired style curated in Fredericksburg, Texas. We are inspired by world travel and nature. We personally hand select our clothing and accessories and assemble them like no place else. You'll see this the moment you step foot in our store. Revealing beauty and confidence through surprise and fashion curation. Haberdasheryboutique.com Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L01 series tractor features number one rated reliability. Powerful Kubota diesel engine, ease of operation, and your choice of a dependable Kubota gear or HST transmission. The durable Kubota L01 series tractor. Talk to your local Kubota dealer today to schedule a demo. From the Gulf of Mexico to the hill country of Texas, Ewald Kubota is your Kubota dealer. 
at Fredericksburg Eye Associates, ophthalmologists Dr. Zan Plinicky, Charles Cohn, and Amy Cadis provide comprehensive medical and surgical eye care. At their state-of-the-art facility off Highway 87, they use the latest equipment for everything from routine eye exams to monitoring macular degeneration. Cataract procedures include the latest advances in lens design, allowing more freedom from glasses than ever before. Fredericksburg Eye Associates, 830-997-6535. Online at fbgi.com. And we are back to Edgewood Stadium uh, battling Billy football here on Billy's.live and TexasRadio.net. And a big first half here for Fredericksburg as they lead 36-0 to zero as uh, we'll kind of go back through this first half with the uh, marching band out there going through their uh, performance as uh, they are in the midst of their competition season. But it's been all Billies this half, Tim. Yeah, from the start, uh, you know, they put that defense uh, on the uh, field uh, right off the bat, get the ball in great field position. Billies go down and score. Uh, and then it's just been an, uh, a matter of turnovers. Uh, Bill, Billies uh, getting three turnovers and, and able to uh, uh, to uh, get in the end zone on all three of those. So it's just – it's been all Billies, defense and offense. Yeah, exactly. And uh, – Different Billies scoring tonight as uh, Leha has scored, and uh, we've had Seidenberger in the end zone. Uh, the freshman can two. Giovanni Borjas punched one in, and, and Reed's yeah. Bees as well. So it's been nice to see some variety out there, and I'm sure as uh, coaches they like to see some of these other kids stepping up. And I'm going to say the freshman, Aaron Cantu, has been a pleasant surprise yeah. here in and, the second quarter. And you know what? I think, you know, I, I've talked with uh, – uh, yeah, Coach Stafford, who uh, is one of the freshman coaches, and, and he said that uh, uh, that he is legit, you know, just a, just a, f- a freshman, but doesn't play like a freshman. Yeah. And, of course, he's got some skills. He's got some speed. Uh, you know, so they're, they're looking forward uh, to him giving some uh, maybe, you know, Leha some, some rest. Yeah. You know, because you, you, you're going to lean on Leha. But I tell you what, I've been impressed with uh, the Billies throwing the football tonight. Uh, Dagan Hart is 12 of 15 for 163 yards. Yeah. I mean, you know, and he, he's thrown some timing uh, patterns and, and, and put it on the money. Uh, you know, they've got 136 yards on the ground. Leha leading with uh, 64 but you got a number of guys that have 20 yards or, or more. So, uh, But once again, defense showing up 30 yards defensively, giving up 30 yards. That's yeah. it. And, and not tracking tackles up here, but, uh, boy, every time you look up, it, there's uh, Gary Seidenberger yep. right in the middle of somebody uh, knocking a kid to the ground. You know, and you mentioned Dagan Hart's arm. Uh, one long completion there to Seidenberger, but uh, the rest of them have just been, like you said, on the money timing patterns yep. here and there. And the Billies, especially late there in the second quarter, uh, trying to put his uh, arm to work. And you would expect somewhere in the second half we'll see Reed Spees behind center. Yeah, and, 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 you know, that's the good thing about having two weeks off, or not, you know, or a week off, but two weeks before, you know, between games is you can really practice on what you need. And right now the timing looks really well. Yeah. And uh, it, it's helped that uh, we've got, we're winning the turnover battle. Three turnovers. Uh, the Billies have been pretty clean. Got a little sloppy with a couple uh, bad uh, penalties uh, there late. Uh, uh, but other than that, uh, they've really played well tonight. Yeah, good ball game, good first half uh, for Fredericksburg and, and pretty uh, penalty free until midway through the second quarter. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, the turnovers for Memorial have spelled points for us every time. Uh, the Billies have uh, done their best to hang on to the ball here this evening. It's just a, a good first half of football for Fredericksburg to open district play. And uh, we'll take a break and come back shortly, look at some scores around the area. Volleyball was up two sets to zero. We'll get an update on the volleyball score. Uh, you're watching, listening on Billy's.live and TexasRadio.net. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. Segner's has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. Located at 236 West Main Street or find us on the web at SegnersJewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies.
the Wizards of Comfort keep the Batland Billies comfortable. Whether you need a heating or AC repair, need to replace your system, or need a tune-up, the Wizards of Comfort have you covered. Fully licensed and insured, locally owned and operated, fair upfront pricing, and flexible financing. Reliable HVAC services backed by the strongest guarantees in your neck of the woods. Give 72 Degrees Air Conditioning and Heating a call today, 830-307-7020, or visit us at 72DegreesTexas.com. As Fredericksburg celebrates 175 years, Arrowhead Bank is celebrating almost 100 years of serving the people of the Texas Hill Country. Our goal has been the same since we opened in Fredericksburg 20 years ago, to combine the relationship banking of yesterday with the technology of today for a better brand of banking. Arrowhead Bank is proud to support our students in all their endeavors, athletic and academic, and we're excited to celebrate their successes this year. Billy Pride, Eber Alice, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 423091. ValuMed Pharmacy is Fredericksburg's pharmacy. By putting our customers first, we've earned a sterling reputation as the premier provider in town. With free home delivery, convenient location, and a speedy drive-up window, getting your medications has never been easier. ValuMed offers competitive pricing and accepts most prescription insurance. We're located at 707 North Lano Street, or give us a call at 830-997-8155. Come see why ValuMed Pharmacy truly is Fredericksburg's pharmacy. Hill Country Refrigeration has been providing the Texas Hill Country with quality heat and air conditioning service, installation, and repair for 47 years. They offer dependable, friendly, and professional customer service. Robert and Clara Ann Amers founded Hill Country Refrigeration in 1974, but have been enjoying Batlin Billy sports for a lifetime. The Amers family are born and raised Billy fans. Four generations, that is. Hill Country Refrigeration, where customizing comfort is their award-winning game. From one winning team to another, best of luck, Billy's. Welcome to Creek Street Dental, where we strive to treat our patients with compassion, kindness, and care. We utilize the latest technologies in our commitment to your family, offering cone beam technology, cosmetic dentistry, and sedation dentistry so you can sleep through your appointment. Stop by and meet our newest addition, Dr. Monica Montgomery, from the Fredericksburg High School class of 2014. Creek Street Dental, on the corner of Creek Street and South Adams in Fredericksburg. Texas Hill Country Orthopedic, the official sports medicine provider of the Batland Billies. Our board-certified and fellowship-trained doctors provide personalized and comprehensive bone and joint care for all ages. We utilize the latest technologies like platelet-rich plasma treatments. And also unique to the Hill Country, we offer anterior hip replacement. Whether you've suffered a traumatic injury to your shoulder or are just tired of dealing with arthritis pain in your knees, Texas Hill Country Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is here to help. At the Real Estate Advisory Team of Fredericksburg, we know the Texas Hill Country and we know Texas Hill Country Real Estate. With the Real Estate Advisory Team, you have a team of experienced professionals who use old fashioned personal service. Along with our cutting edge technology, we help you buy and sell real estate. Contact the Real Estate Advisory Team today. We would be delighted to help you turn your Hill Country real estate dream into a reality. Make it a great day. And we are back uh, to Edgewood Stadium. Congratulations to the Lady Billy's volleyball team as uh, Coach Dance and and even Mr. Hahn giving us an update. They uh, swept in three, so a very good win and a needed win there for uh, the Lady Billy's. Congratulations to them on a Friday night as uh, they are kind of into that second loop and Uh, Take a moment to uh, enjoy that, girls, because uh, back to work. Well, you still got big games ahead of you. You still got Davenport. Uh, you got uh, Bandera and Bernie a second time, uh, and that one, that final game will be in Bernie. That'll yeah, be a loud one. Yes, it will. And and, and you know what? I, I, I I'm, I'm sure that Coach uh, Raymer is pretty happy about how well they bounced back. You know, lost a, lost a tough one uh, on Tuesday night to uh, to Wimberley and. Uh, you know, uh, you know, having to go to Navarro, you know, that's always a rough trip. And anytime you travel like that, you just don't know how you're going to come out. Boy, evidently, girls came out and uh, on fire and, and went in three. You know, I mean, three yeah. straight. You know, that's – I'm sure Coach uh, Raymer is pretty pleased with that one. Well, and let's just uh, stay with Billy Sports here a little bit. Tennis action. Uh, we were able to wrap up district play yep, this week uh, with a win over Davenport. 
Uh, we split matches last Saturday, uh, got a win over the 6A high school marshal, and then uh, ran into a pretty tough Bernie squad. Uh, played played well in doubles and then just couldn't, couldn't find the rhythm in singles. Uh, they are ranked number two in the state of Texas. And, you know, we talk about how tough that volleyball district is. Tennis is the same way. You've got uh, Bernie at two, and then you got Wimberley at six and Fredericksburg at nine. And we're consistently in the top ten year in and year out in some combination with those three teams. And uh, so uh, head to the playoffs. We've got uh, warm, warm-ups tomorrow, a, a regional rival, uh, actually the number eight ranked team in the state. We'll play them tomorrow morning, uh, Uvalde. Uvalde. Uh, so we'll be on the road bright and early. We take on Uvalde at 9 o'clock at Uvalde High School, and then we'll follow that up with another 4A school, Divine, uh, right after that, just as a last-minute uh, warm-up before the playoffs. Our playoffs start on Tuesday with uh, Navarro. Uh, we looked for a neutral side in San Antonio, did not have much luck playing in Wimberley. So we'll play Wimberley at Wimberley against Navarro in the by district playoffs Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, but you, you got to play at Wimberley this year, haven't you? Well, we have. So, we played Wimberley there, so yeah. and we'll play district there in the spring. So it's it's a good place to play. Yeah. They've got nine courts there at the high school. It's it's a good setup, and uh, we get more time on those courts, you know, as well as I do. It just makes you a little more comfortable yeah. every yeah. Time, yeah. time you go play there. Uh, we did play Navarro early in the season and uh, beat them, I believe, 10-1. So uh, hoping for good things on Tuesday, and then we would advance to the area round, and the window for that is Thursday through Saturday of next week. And we'll try to work around district cross country, volleyball games, et cetera. I would say likely a Thursday or Friday, excuse me, a Friday morning matchup uh, against probably Rockport Fulton, uh, who we've played the last two years. I was going to say, you guys, uh, you know them real well. Very so. common second-round opponent. So that's where tennis lies, and uh, volleyball girls getting a very good win tonight. The football team looking good here in the first half with a 36 to nothing lead. Uh, getting closer and closer to basketball action. Got a little golf going on. Uh, how are we looking in those areas? Well, golf-wise, uh, we host uh, our first tournament coming up on the 17th, so a week from Monday. Uh, we're hosting out at Lady Bird. The uh, boys are playing at 9 o'clock, and the girls will play uh, the 19th uh, on a Wednesday uh, there at Lady Bird. So we're excited to uh, get underway uh, with the golfers. Uh, basketball, actually, our, our guys are uh, playing in a shootout. Uh, tomorrow in New Braunfels, and then uh, next Saturday we're going to host a shoot out there at the high school, uh, just to try to give them some some more court time. We, you know, we just we need some court time, need to get some experience. We're young, need to learn how to play together. So, uh, but yes, you know, basketball season starts for us on the 26th, and you know the girls will start uh, first day of practice is the 21st. So. I mean, it's right around the corner. I mean, it's, it comes it's up here. quick. Yes, it does. Dan Aldrich and the cross-country kids, uh, they will run district next week. Uh, they ran at Mason uh, this past week in the heat. I, I say heat. It's not as hot as it was six weeks ago, but still uh, pretty warm. It was an afternoon cross-country meet, and obviously they did they very swept, well. Yeah, they yeah. swept uh, all divisions, so uh, congratulations once again. Yeah, and, and they were short two boys because I had them on the tennis court playing a district tennis match, and uh, thanks to Coach Aldrich for uh, always working with us when we share those athletes. And that's what we got to share. You know, we, we got to do that, you know, uh, and, and that's the good thing about our, our, our coaching staff is, uh, you, know, re, you know, playing district tennis kind of supersedes just a uh, – uh, you know, a varsity track meet or cross country meet. So, uh, and Fredericksburg hosting the district cross country meet this coming week. Uh, I believe that's on Thursday. Uh, the varsities will run in JVs in the morning, and then I'm sure that I'm not positive, but do they tie the junior high meet to that in the afternoon? Well, they have or done junior it in high the past. maybe in a different district. Yeah, they they have done that in the past. Um, uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I tell you what, running in the morning has been nice. Yes, much it better. Has, oh, has it been so cool in the morning. Yep, so that's coming up on Thursday. Uh, this week uh, they'll be hosting out there, I believe, around Oakcrest uh, and uh, running that course that Coach Aldrich and uh, Coach Kamer uh, put a lot of time in, uh, measuring that out, getting it all laid out and ready to go uh, so that it is ready for district competition 
next week. Hey, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back and look at some area football scores as well as our future district competition. you got Bernie, Uvalde, Somerset, and Kennedy uh, all in action tonight, and uh, we'll look at those scores. Stay with us. You're on Billy's.Live and TexasRadio.net. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey, Billy fans, check out this lineup. Pizza. Appetizers. Salad, sandwiches, and full pot. At Hill Country Propane, Inc., we work hard to earn your propane business. Do you need propane delivery for your home? We're on it. Refilling propane cylinders for your grill? We're on it. Filling up your RV and our easy drive through We're on it. Savings on RV and cylinder fills? We're on it. For all your propane needs, choose Hill Country Propane, Inc. Because we're, we're on it. it. Hill Country Propane, Inc. Go Billies! Please join us in keeping Fredericksburg and Gillespie County special. Be Texas friendly. Share the road. Put litter in its place. Respect private property. And protect our dark skies. Thank you for caring about our community. Howdy friends, this is Paige Finley from FBG and Billy's Out Live. I want to tell you about some new friends I met at J4 Trailer, a family-owned Texas trailer dealer out 290 just east of Fredericksburg. They carry utility trailers, livestock trailers, cargo trailers, and if you're looking for all the bells and whistles, they can custom build just about anything. Food trucks, car haulers, trash, or landscape trailers, whatever you need. Give them a call today, 830-997-9969, J4 Trailers. That's where I got mine. Do you have a good head coach to draw up a play for your retirement plan? Have you done the practice drills necessary to produce a good portfolio? If not, contact Joseph Financial Partners. They will sit you down in front of the chalkboard and walk you through all the X's and O's. They'll set up your offense and your defense so you're prepared for the good days and the bad days. If you're not sure about your coach or the plays that you're running, contact Joseph Financial Partners, 830-997-4763 or online at josephfinancialpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA SIPC. Security State Bank and Trust. We've been building the communities we call home since 1941. That includes supporting our students, teachers, and schools. Behind each student is a community investing in what matters most. Security State Bank and Trust. Proud supporters of Batlin Billy Sports. We're rooting for your success on and off the field. We're proud to say we're small enough to know you by name and large enough to serve all your financial needs. Security State Bank and Trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. This broadcast is supported by Votive Hospice, a family-owned hospice founded by Fredericksburg natives. Votive Hospice is Fredericksburg's only joint-commissioned accredited hospice and Fredericksburg's first community-based palliative care, which means their team can help you or your loved one prior to needing hospice at no cost to you and your family. Led by Dr. Rad Kothman and certified hospice and palliative care nurse Carrie Weaver. Visit votivehospice.com. They're with you. Top five reasons we love Gaddy's in Fredericksburg. Number five, their student teacher lunch discount. Number four, their all-you-can-eat buffet. Number three, they have a huge variety of fresh veggies at the salad bar. Number two, Gaddy's pasta and pizza is always hot and ready. And best of all, they even do the dishes. Gaddy's Pizza, Highway 16 South, across from the fairgrounds. can't think about HCM and not see the fingerprints of this community all over it. This community loves this organization and this organization is so deeply dependent on this community to make sure we can deliver great health care. It's that interdependence that means that we will be able to serve our community for generations to come. Welcome to Hill Country Memorial. Welcome to Remarkable. All of us at FBG Live want to thank you for tuning in today. 
Lots of you have asked how you might support our video production. Well, if you want to grow your business, we know just the place to advertise. But here are three other super simple ways anyone can help. First of all, just tap the like button on this video. That helps us reach a broader audience, which in turn helps our sponsors who make it possible for you to watch. Secondly, subscribe to our channels and tap the notification bell so you get alerted whenever we go live. And finally, and most importantly, patronize our sponsors. Shop at their stores, enlist their services. Heck, if nothing else, just give them a call and tell them thank you for making it possible for you to watch today. It is a joy to serve our community through live video production, but we couldn't do it without you or without our sponsors. We hope you enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Rick Barangi, and I'm the owner and founder of Long Neck Manor. I met Donnie uh, several years ago because I was building a state-of-the-art barn for my giraffe, 10,000 square foot barn, and there's nobody in uh, the area, not just Fredericksburg, but in the region that could understand the complexities of building such a structure. Donnie's team is amazing. When they come out here, they're very professional, they're quick, they're thorough. You get a product even better than you expected. Strayer and Offers has been going strong since 1928. They specialize in tires and tire repair, wheel balancing, front end alignment, brake repair, tune-ups, oil changes, belts and hoses, complete auto repair. Make sure you check out the Kawasaki Mules and custom-built trailers ready to go to work for you. For quality Chevron products, Strayer and Offers, 509 South Adams Street, Fredericksburg. Call 830-997-4382. Check them out online, StrayerandOffers.com. Black Chalk Home and Laundry is one of the most unique home decor and gift boutiques in the Texas Hill Country. Come get lost in the found and unbound items that surprise and delight you around every turn. Steeped in history, our building will take you back to a bygone era that delights the senses. Black Chalk Home and Laundry, a happy place filled with the found and unbound. Come, discover yourself, and love your home. It was on. Yeah. We're back to Edgewood Stadium, the Memorial Band uh, performing as halftime begins to wind down. Both, uh, well, the Battle Billies are chasing that tunnel over there. <laughs> the ROTC. Yeah, it looks like a caterpillar. <laughs> I wish they could get us. Uh, it's a shame. That would have been a nice uh, picture of that. Uh, ROTC moving it into place, <laughs> and the Billies right behind it waiting for them to get it set up. Some uh, scores uh, here at halftime. And uh, kind of ones of interest in around the Fredericksburg area. Of course, district scores. Uh, Bernie leading Uvalde at halftime, uh, much the same as here, 34-0. to zero. Uh, Ingram trailing Luling, 26-6. to six. Uh, Smithson Valley up on Kyle, 27-0. Wimberley over Gerald, 35-7. to seven. Uh, Blanco trailing Marion, 35-6. to six. As uh, we kind of scroll through some of these scores here and uh, trying to get down to the district ones, it would have obviously be interest. Uh, 36-0 here for the Billies. Lano tied with Randolph at halftime by a score of 14-14. Hondo trailing Jordanton, 21-14. Harper uh, trailing Johnson City by a score of 28-0. Center point down to Charlotte, 38 -0. To six, uh, Coach Kamen, you got any more over there that I'm missing? Yeah, Canyon Lake is now ahead of uh, Marble Falls, 21-7. I don't know if you ca called that out. You know me when I'm looking at my phone and I <laughs> I, I, I zo zone out of everything because I have to figure out to, how to do this. Lamp passes up on Burnett, three to nothing. Uh, boy, talk about a low scoring game. And Davenport is ahead of Taylor, uh, nine to seven. That's what I have so far. Let's see. Uh, Pleasanton is uh, trailing Rockport Fulton nine to three. You know, Pleasanton is who we played last year uh, in that third round of the playoffs. Uh, you know, so I thought they were going to be pretty good this year, but it looks like they're struggling tonight. Well, I had that Somerset score earlier and uh, lost it. They were playing Kennedy. Somerset yep. was ahead at halftime. Seventeen nothing. Seventeen yep. nothing. So there's a few scores from around the area as we get set for second half play. We've got some highlights right now going on. Here is uh, Jesse Leha moving the football and, and defense just stifling defense, giving up only 30 yards here in the first half. 
as we get the interception right there by Chenoff. Beautiful pass here and catch by Sam Seidenberger, Dagenhart to Seidenberger for the one yarder. The opening toss uh, was, or the toss, coin toss to begin the game. Memorial won and elected to receive, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half as those first half highlights continue to roll. It's a 36 0 lead for the Billies to start the second half. And Fredericksburg will drop two men back to receive at about the 10 yard line. As Memorial has it teed up. And there goes Cantu into the end zone on the replay. Short kick going to be uh, bobbled there about the 25-yard line, and uh, that's where Fredericksburg will set up shop. Fred Gill uh, makes a good decision. Go ahead and just fall on it. Don't try to pick it up. Sometimes you get in a hurry, and, uh, and you can't, uh, can't find a handle. We'll see here if the Billies make any early substitutions in the second half. Looks like Dagenhart will bring him out onto the field. Leha to his left. <coughs> Billy's move left to right as we look at him from the home press box at Edgewood Stadium here in San Antonio. Dagenhart takes a snap. Little quick wide receiver screen out to the left side, breaking a couple of tackles for a gain of 10 before they get knocked out of bounds. Yeah, that's Cheneth with the... Uh Reception, one eleven yard gain, and we've seen that play about five or six times. Yep. One man split out here to the right, two to the left. Going to send Seidenberger in motion. Handoff to Leha. Short gain on the play. It'll be second down. Let's see, I believe second down and seven. Gain of three. We're going to call it three. Stat guy next to me might not call that three. <laughs> we got a young man from the Express News sitting here in the booth with us tonight keeping stats, and uh, he was kind enough to help us out a little bit at halftime with uh, some statistics. I was only off by like, uh, you know, four or five yards. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Second down. Dagan Hart with a keeper straight up the middle. Short game, going to bring up third down, and we'll call that three. Fredericksburg leading as uh, you look at the SI Wealth Management scoreboard there here early in the second half of play. It is 36-0. to zero. Leha to the right of Dagan Hart. Handoff to Leha. He's going to try that left side, gets tripped up in the backfield, maybe gets a yard out of it. Now that was a nice play by number 13, Miguel Hernandez, for the Minutemen as he was able to uh, tackle Leha short of the first down, going to be fourth and two. Will we see the first punt of the ball game for the Billies, or are they going to go for it? Fourth down and two. Uh, I don't see Reed Spees in there. Looks like we're going to go for it as Dagenhart barks things out to the line of scrimmage, brings Seidenberger in motion, going to give it to him on the sweep. And he tries that right side. We'll see if he got it, and he did. Yeah, he's going to pick up five yards. Nice run there by Sam for a moment. I thought, uh, thought we were going to be caught short, but he was able to turn the corner. Yeah. Pick up five. Move the chains. First down and ten. One man to the right, two to the left. Dagenhart going to hand off. Seidenberger taking it over that left side. Good carry for Sam out to the 45 or down to the 45. So it'll be second down and three. Good run there for Sam Seidenberger. In two minute made or minute, minute <laughs> man territory. <laughs> Need some orange juice. Either that or thought we were with the Astros watching the Astros. Uh, yeah, at the park. Dagenhart 
Little screen pass, swing pass out to, I believe that was Leha. Yep, a good catch there by Leha, and a late flag comes in. A little extracurricular activity over there on that far side. So we'll see if he got the first down, and then they'll have to sort out things with the officials here. Going to be short of the first down. They're going to wave, wave off, off that okay. flag. So it'll be third down and one for the Billies. Break the huddle. Come to the line of scrimmage. Two men split left. Two here to the near side. Leha in the backfield. Dagan Hart steps under center, takes the snap, and picks up the first down. Flag on the play. Line judge here on this uh, near side. Don't know if that was on the Billies. Yeah, looking at the replay, did not see any movement up front. And they're going to call that an illegal formation. Illegal formation against the Billies. Maybe somebody just a little too far off the line of scrimmage. Yep. Third down. Fredericksburg opening possession of the second half. Degenhart in the pocket, looking to pass, throws behind the receiver and, uh, and trying the, to hit Leha. Yeah, and a little, a little high. high, yeah. That one kind of got away from him. Looked like Jesse got a right hand on it, but uh, was unable to get enough of the ball to pull it in. So fourth down. Fourth and six, you would think maybe the punt group goes out. We've got 7.51 to go in. The third quarter of play, and the Billies will come to the line of scrimmage. Dagenhart in the shotgun. Leha to his left. He's going to look to pass. Rolls to his left. Throws downfield, and uh, the pass is caught. But uh, see if they, they do. They say he was in bounds at the 19-yard line. Great catch by Sam Seidenberg. Yeah, but I think if you see, if you check here, I think we're going to have a couple linemen down. Downfield just a little too early. Now hard to tell. Well, a great catch there by Seidenberger. Yeah. So penalty marker back here at the line of scrimmage. Going to bring that one back. But you see the catch there again. Good job by Seidenberger. Yeah, good throw in too. Bounds and Kind of catches that one off the left hip. Yep, illegal man downfield. So mark off five. Uh, it'll make it fourth down and 11. And now Reed's Pease will come in to punt. Be his fir first punt of the ball game. One man back to receive at about the 28-yard line. Reed, a little bit of pressure coming right up the middle, gets that one away, hits at the 29. It'll go out of bounds. We'll see if that's the 22, 21. They're going to mark it at the 22-yard line. And uh, that's where Memorial will uh, set up shop for their first possession of the second half. Our title sponsor tonight is SI Wealth Management. If you're confused by all the options in the investment world, you need to schedule some time with Scott Emmel or Mark Southard at SI Wealth Management. Whether as simple as rolling over a 401k, creating a college savings plan, or an efficient way of transferring wealth for future generations, identifying the need is the key to identifying the strategy. Give them a call at 992-3464 to schedule your appointment today. SI Wealth Management, where a handshake and a look in the eye still mean something. 
Short game there for Memorial on first down. Yeah, on Tavares, uh, just a straight dive right up the middle. Picked up four. Second down and six. Got some uh, new billies in the ball game. Trying to see some of those numbers. 52, Adon Rivas. One of them. I'll try to get some more. Second down and six as uh, Ortega hands off right up the middle and the Billy defense is there to greet him. That's number 72. Um, I don't have a number. That's Ed Tall jones <laughs> <laughs> That's reaching way back there, Coach. And I think he was number 72, I, wasn't he? I think you're right. Yeah. Either that or he was 77, one of the two. And I... Uh, I think it was okay. 72, as uh, Paige Finley confirms for us. I, I thought you were right. All right. I like <laughs> being right. It doesn't happen very often. <laughs> there you go. Third down and seven. Also in, Joel Vila for the Billies. Get some of those other numbers in there. Let's see. 55, Tyler Rivas. Whistles blow as uh, Memorial calls a timeout. We're going to keep it right here and uh, remind you, on Monday nights, it's uh, Wilder at West End. Join Billies.Live every Monday night throughout the football season for Wilder at West End. Be a part of the live studio audience. Join J.D. Rose and head football coach Bill Wilder. Go over replays from the previous game. Look at strategies for the next one. A great time, great food and drinks, trivia, and prizes. Join us for all sorts of fun as we get wilder at West End, Mondays at 630. And, of course, you can watch live right here on Billy's.Live. I hear that's a pretty good time, Coach. I hadn't made it over there yet on Monday night. Well, but, I mean, uh, Monday night you get a combination of football with Coach Wilder you get probably Monday night football, and you get pizza. Some pretty so, good pizza. Yeah. So uh, it's a it's a can't-lose situation. Get on out there. Third down and seven for Memorial. Handoff. Actually fakes the handoff. Quarterback keeper by Ortega. He's going to be slung down after a short gain, and uh, that'll be fourth down for Memorial. Fourth down and four. Looked like Rance Panic on the tackle for the Billies. So that uh, number seven, Reed Spees will go back to uh, receive the punt, standing about the 35-yard line. Five minutes, 23 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. A 36-0 lead for Fredericksburg. Good snap. And Some that pressure, punt man. is almost blocked. Good pressure. Reed's going to field it at the uh, 30 Fair catch at the 38-yard line. has uh, kind of fooled me there. I, I thought he called fair catch, and then he kind of took a step or two forward and tossed the ball to the officials. So, Well, every now and then Reed gets to, you know, he's not quite sure what he wants to. He really probably wanted to run that. <laughs> he wanted to uh, rescind that uh, fair catch because yeah. he had some room. <laughs> Billies will take over after the punt at the 38-yard line, first down and 10. And uh, looks like Spees will check in at quarterback, and Dagan Hart may be done for the evening. A 36-0 lead. Reed's going to fake the handoff, keep it himself, and uh, he'll be out to the 45-yard line. Nice carry there by Reed as uh, he takes over quarterback position. Yeah, and Spees has got some speed. So, uh, great job by uh, Dagan Hart. Had a wonderful evening uh, throwing for a little over 175 yards. So, uh, nice job there uh, going into next week. Penalty marker as uh, Reed's going to keep it over here on this side. A little stiff arm there and crosses the 50, picks up the first down, but we'll see what the penalty flag is. And they snuck Dagenhart back in at quarterback to uh, hand it off to Spees. And the officials talking this one over. It's going to be a procedure call against Fredericksburg, so that'll be a five-yard markoff. 
And bring up second down and eight after the penalty. You're right, Coach Dagenhart back in there at quarterback. One man split right, one to the left. Full house in the backfield for Dagenhart. Good snap, handoff to Seidenberger, trying to follow the blocks of Spees and Leha, and he'll get close to the first down marker. I believe it's gonna be about a yard shy. Yeah, nice run there by Sam. Pickup of about six, call it seven. Third down and one. Spees and Seidenberger to flank Dagan Hart. Leha behind him. And off, actually quarterback keeper at me fooled, picks up the first down. Jet Thomas uh, in for uh, one of the linemen. So the uh, young sophomore getting some varsity experience. So first down and 10 at the 46-yard line for the Billies. Dagan Hart looking to throw. Pass is caught by Jackson Chenoth at the 39. Pickup of seven. Second down and three. Billy's taking advantage of a soft cushion there by the corners. Leha to the right of the quarterback. Bring a man in motion. Dagan Hart rolls to his right, throws. Oh, great and, uh, footwork there by, Char by yeah, Charlie Johnson. Good catch at the 30-yard line, low to the outside. We see the replay here. Uh, sticks at Ball right in there where he needs it, and uh, you kind of obscured a little yeah, bit yeah, there. You, on you the really replay. couldn't see it, but that was really nice footwork there by Charlie Johnson. He had both feet in. Here's a different angle. Yep, both feet, and boy, what a catch. Great camera work there by Paige Finley and his crew. And off to Leha, going to start left, cuts it back upfield. Uh, just not much room there. Picks up a yard. And it'll be second down and nine. Yeah, right now, uh, you know, Billy's up 36 nothing. I kind of like to see them uh, save Leha on those legs. Oh, fumble. fumble in the backfield as uh, the toss. Leha unable to pull it in. Now a big scramble for the ball. And I believe let the officials – Sorted out here a little bit. But, I think Dagan uh, Hart got on the football. I think Will was able to get back on top of it. As, uh, a lot of bodies there in the middle of that pile. Uh, toss just didn't quite make it. So we'll see it here. Ball kind of bounces. Leha unable to pick it up. And... Nobody wanted yeah, it there. And Dagenhart just kind of came yeah. from the other side and waited for his opportunity and pounced. So a loss on the play after the recovered fumble. I tell you what, that was good to see Dagenhart get on the turf after that loose ball because uh, that's what I'm going to expect in basketball. Yeah, you got to chase that loose <laughs> yeah. ball. I've seen you run that drill yeah. in practice. <laughs> Sometimes you'll throw that mat out there for them to dive onto, but I've also seen it the other way. Yeah, <laughs> got to get used to just <laughs> the hard floor. Yeah. Dagenhart in trouble, going to just throw this one over here on the sidelines, and uh, Charlie Johnson with a good catch but out of bounds. Yeah. So it will be fourth down and 11, fourth down and 12 for the Billies. <laughs> you know what would be interesting is uh, does uh, – Alva have the leg for this? That would be uh, probably about a four. Yeah. Into I mean, he's made a 46-yarder before. Into a light breeze. Uh, they're going to go for it here on fourth and 12. 
to bring a man in motion. That's Western Herber. Degenhart trying to set up a little screen and uh, unable to get it to, I believe that was Cantu. Well, that, that really took a long time to develop. Yeah. And I wasn't sure that. And some of that may be the timing of, uh, you know, you've got uh, some of your uh, uh, second teamers that are trying to get some experience. They don't get all the reps in practice. So the ball goes over on downs with 54 seconds left to play in the third quarter. And the Minutemen will make their way back out offensively here. <coughs> Jordan Ortega, the junior quarterback, has handled duties here all evening long for Memorial. As a whistle blows. Yeah, it's going to be a false start against the Minutemen. You know, one of the unique football nicknames in the state of Texas, the Minutemen. Yeah. And the Billies. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't see very many Minutemen. First down and 15 after the mark off. Ortega in the shotgun. Brings a man in motion. Hand off goes to the man in motion, and uh, he's a good hard running. That's number 20, Jose Fernandez, the senior running back. Tackle made by number 10, sophomore Calvin Groby. You know, talking to, uh, to uh, Coach Wilder today, he was hoping that some of his younger guys would be able to get some time, and uh, he's getting his wish. Second down and six. Here for Memorial. Also in Tristan King, now playing uh, linebacker position. That's the end of the third quarter of play. We'll take a quick break and be back for the fourth in just a moment. Hi, I'm John Ewald with Ewald Kubota, and these are my six daughters. And while life with six girls might not be easy, the Kubota products we sell will make all your tough jobs easy peasy. Like this Kubota SVL 97 that's tough and dependable. It's so easy, even my daughter can use it. Or this Kubota KX080. Anyone can operate it. So stop by one of our locations to make your life easier, because buying a new Kubota has to be easier than living with six daughters. Blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I Ortega. could take this crowd. Yep. Throw this one away and uh, nobody over there. That really should be a penalty because he was... Uh, Still in the pocket, and there was nobody there, but uh, no reason to call that. So that'll be bring up. Was it third, fourth? I thought it was fourth I down. I thought it would be fourth yeah, down. fourth down and two. So third down and two. Brings a man in motion. Ortega hands off, and uh, that is uh, number 42, Francisco Ontiveros, the fullback, sophomore. He's going to pick up five. He'll have the first down and move the chains there for Memorial. See some of these other guys in the uh, – Caden Coons in the ball game. Giovanni Borjas, Calvin Groby. Brian De La Fuente, Cristobal Neri still in the ball game. First down and ten for Memorial. Colton Wolf at playing safety. Handoff goes to Ontiveros, the sophomore, the big fullback. He picks up a yard. Edward, uh, nope, Brian De La Fuente. And on the tackle for the Billies, along with 61, Emmanuel Benitez. A 
make that a gain of two. So second down and eight. As Memorial breaks the huddle, comes to the line of scrimmage. Ontiveros will be behind Ortega in the pistol. Everyone else in tight. And off again, actually going to keep it. Ortega's going to keep it. He's across the 50 to the 49-yard line. That should be enough for the first down. Make up of eight. So first and 10 inside Billy territory. As Memorial moving the ball here a little bit early in the fourth quarter of play. Billy's with a 36-0 lead. Everyone in tight. Gonna send a man in motion. And off to Ontiveros. And Ontiveros with an 11-yard carry down to the 38-yard line. And uh, mass substitutions being made here on defense by Coach Wilder. Yeah, he said, uh, I think we want to preserve the shutout. You know, they got the shutout last, or their last game two weeks ago against Marble. And uh, he's going to have a conversation over there on the sideline yeah. with those second stringers and say, boys. You got to go in and you got to execute. That's yep. what it comes down yeah, to. Exactly. Ortega in the pistol. He's got Ontiveros behind him. And off again to Ontiveros. And uh, he stopped at the line of scrimmage there by the Billies as uh, – that was a big 77. How did he get it? He's not even on my roster, but he's been playing all year. You know who that is. That's big old Mc... Uh, oh, gosh. How do I... Yeah, we've got a few guys in there that... Yeah, they've got a couple bigger That's numbers. That's McCarver. That's Logan, yeah, yeah. yeah. 72 is Joseph Avales. Yeah. I finally figured that one out. So second down and 10. Here's some pressure. Pressure coming up the middle. He's going to throw this one away. Incomplete intended uh, for number 15, uh, Gerald Membrano, a senior wide receiver for Memorial. Yeah, and uh, that was uh, Yori Estrada that, who was uh, pressuring the quarterback. Made him get rid of that in a hurry. So third down and 10. Yeah, this roster we got there needs another number or two on it. Yeah. It? Ortega going to keep it, and uh, he's down to the 34-yard line short of the first down. It's yeah. going to bring up fourth down and six. Yeah, that was Gary Seidenberger on the tackle. It looked like uh, he was going to get loose, but uh, Ortega picks up five, made it fourth and five. 7.49 to go in the fourth quarter. Billy's comfortable lead, 36 nothing. Memorial going to go for it here on fourth down. Ortega and Fernandez in the backfield. Ortega looking to pass. It is incomplete. And uh, would have had the first down. Yeah, that was that, open. Just that was of, really a nice looking play, and got it. Uh, I mean, the scheme was there. They had the guy open. Uh, just uh, pass was uh, not there, as uh, it kind of fooled the cornerback. That's uh, that's the freshman can too. I think coach is going to go back and say, "Hey, that's your coverage." New sponsor this week, uh, Blue Ribbon Company. Billy Stott Live would like to uh, welcome. The most recent addition to our sportive sponsors, Blue Ribbon, serving the Hill Country since 1989. They love what they do, and we love what they do. Screen printing, embroidery, shirts, caps, all sorts of ways to promote your company or special occasion. Stop by their shop on Industrial Loop and uh, check in with Jorge or Melody, and uh, they'll take great care of you. Tell them Billy's.Live sent you. First down and 10. Colton Wolf. Billy's going to call timeout. Looked like Colton Wolf was going to be quarterback. So timeout by the Billies. We'll take a quick timeout and be right back after this. 
at Fredericksburg Eye Associates, ophthalmologists Dr. Zan Plinicky, Charles Cohn, and Amy Cadis provide comprehensive medical and surgical eye care. At their state-of-the-art facility off Highway 87, they use the latest equipment for everything from routine eye exams to monitoring macular degeneration. Cataract procedures include the latest advances in lens design, allowing more freedom from glasses than ever before. Fredericksburg Eye Associates, 830-997-6535. Online at fbgi.com. Hey, don't miss out on any Billies.Live action this year. Be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell so you get notified whenever we go live. It's that simple. Over 160,000 devices watched Billies.Live last year. Thank you for joining us today. First down and 10 for Fredericksburg. 7.15 to go in the ball game. A 36-0 lead. Snap, and like I said, new quarterback in there to, to finish up the game for Fredericksburg. That is the sophomore, Colton Wolf. Looked like he's uh, his backfield mate, Caden uh, Kuntz, another sophomore. You know, that first uh, few varsity plays is always uh, a little nervous yeah. for those kids. Yeah. And as coaches... You just want him to get that first action and get, get rid of those butterflies pretty quick. Wolf. Nice fake. Nice, nice decision yeah. there. Yeah. Good read and there by Colton. He's going to pick up eight or nine yards. It'll be third down and one. And as coaches, you always want those first few plays to go well. Give them some confidence. Yeah. Well, that should do. That should give him some right there. Pick up of nine. Yep. Third down. I'm going to call that third down and one. I need my fantasy running backs to run like that. <laughs> Come on, Kamara. I got Kamara and Dobbins. Yeah, you took old Dobbins, huh? Yeah, but I'm sitting at two and two and four. <laughs> no, Wait. I'm two and six. Third down and one. Wolf takes the snap. Handoff goes to Calvin Groby. And uh, Groby will pick up the first down at the 47 yard line. Nice run by the sophomore. Picks up five and a first down. Yeah, I, I went with upside. Yeah. But they're not going to give him the ball. Lamar, Lamar's in a, in a contract year, so he's going to want to score all the touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. So anything close to. You know, so I don't know, just bad decision on my part. And you didn't get Lamar. No, I didn't get Lamar. Too expensive. Yep. Low snap, and uh, Wolf's just going to fall on this one back at the 34-yard line, and a good decision. Yeah. The pressure was yep. coming up the middle. Uh, and, and, you know, sometimes that a sophomore is going to try to pick it up. Yeah. But he did a good job. Just get on the football. Don't turn it over. Live to play uh, another couple downs here. So 23, second down and 23 for the Billies. They put that knee down at the 35. Two men split left, two to the right. Sophomore quarterback in the game, Colton Wolf, And uh, Wolf's going to throw, pass is complete out here at the 37-yard line. And uh, Caden Koontz with the catch. <laughs> and he tries to throw it to the, to the official and Overthrows him. He's telling him, just toss it to me, young man. <laughs> <laughs> a little nervous. So, be third down. Or <laughs> third down and 22. <laughs> Fredericksburg sends one man out to the right. Ball on the near hash. They move right to left as we look at him from the home press box. Looking to pass, and the Wolf's going to keep it and sprint down that right side. Boy, he's close to the first down marker. We'll see where they spot it. Well, three flags come in. Yep. That's usually in the area of a illegal block. Yeah. Uh, down box already moved. 
And I was looking at the first chain, not the second yeah. chain there. So not really anywhere near the first down. Ball at the midfield 50-yard line. As if yeah, the, the punt crew is going to come on the field for the Billies. Yeah. As well, that was a third down play, so assuming... Memorial may decline this. <clears throat> Personal foul. Blindside block. In the old days, they'd call that a pancake. Yeah. So fourth down. And a long way to go there for the Billies. It's going to be interesting. What are they going to do? Because if they take the penalty. Yeah, I was going to say it should be third down. Yeah. So they took the penalty, so that means. One more offensive play. Yep, Spees was back there to punt. Now they're going to run the offense back in there. Third down and 23. As uh, Colton Wolf, sophomore in there for some action in the fourth quarter, fakes the handoff. He's looking to pass, sets, throws. Oh, good. Nice pass downfield. Wow. And, uh, well, the defender got up and looked like he got a hand on that ball. Yeah, trying uh, to throw the ball to uh, Tristan King. I think Tristan was kind of surprised he got out there. I tell you what, uh, Colton Wolf's got a pretty good arm. He's got an arm, but I'm going to say that safety did a great job. Let's see on the replay here if he got a hand on that ball. Nope. No, hey, that was, was that was our hand. That, that was, was a, Tristan. Yeah, Tristan had a hand on that ball. So nice arm there yeah. by the sophomore quarterback. Now Spees will come in to punt on fourth down and 23. Memorial with uh, one man back as a uh, Spees gets up a high wobbly spiral, and uh, Billy's will down it. And I don't know, it, they're acting like uh, the return man touched the ball, but uh, the officials are going to mark it down at the 28-yard line. Well, the return man should have gotten out of the way, and yeah. he just kind of was right there. I think he was wanting to maybe pick that up. And looked like he might have lost sight of the ball there for a second. As, uh, uh, it looked like it, it went off of Gary. Gary, yeah. Gary touched and tried to knock it into him. Yeah. Can't do that, Gary. Once you touch it, it's dead. So the Minutemen will take over at uh, their own 28-yard line. We got 244 to go. 36-0 lead here for the Billies. This is the opening district ball game tonight are both these teams. Uh, Bernie was up big at halftime on Uvalde, and Somerset was leading Kennedy. Nope. Have not checked those scores in a while. Girls volleyball gets the win tonight in straight sets. Congratulations to Coach Raymer and the volleyball girls as they defeat Navarro, and that uh, puts them in second place. He sent me a text a moment ago and said they are now in second place. So good position to be with three games remaining, although they've got to play well to they're, complete the season. They're actually tied for second, but they have the tiebreaker because they've beaten, beaten uh, Navarro. Navarro twice. Yeah. So Second down and ten here for Memorial as uh, clock under two minutes here at Edgewood Stadium. One man right, one to the left for Memorial. Ortega has oh, two men in motion. <laughs> Can't and, do that. Uh, no whistle. Uh, yeah, now they, they did. Who yeah. Going to call that. Uh, Randall, did you give the Bernie? Did you get the Bernie I, update? I had Bernie at half, thirty-four to nothing. They're up sixty-two to seven with four minutes to go. Okay. And uh, Somerset has have pulled. They have pulled. Uh, Ahead of Kennedy, 45 to nothing with nine minutes to go in the fourth. Okay. 
We will be at home next week, if I'm remembering right, against against Somerset. Somerset. Yep. Uh, snap, handoff to the big sophomore running back. And Ontiveros with a short gain after the penalty. Now under a minute to go here from Edgewood. At home next week against uh, Somerset, it will be a seven o'clock kickoff. Phillies will close this one out to go one and oh in district play. Long snap count here by the Minutemen. Ortega gonna fake the handoff and keep it himself as a Tough young man. He's, yeah. put, he's put together some nice little runs today, showed some speed, and uh, taken some hits out there. Yeah, you know, he's not, not a real big kid, but you're right. He's tough because he's, he's been draped all over. He's, I mean, it's, I know he's wearing blue, but it's like he's been wearing white all day. <laughs> Yep, Seidenberger has gotten him a couple of times, and as we've said before, that's, that's not an easy tackle. That's going to close out the ball game. Fredericksburg will get it 36-0. to zero. Stick around. We've got post game with Peyton. FHS senior Peyton Salato will have live post game interview with Coach Wilder in just a few minutes after he gets through meeting with the team. Your final score. 36 to 0. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Segner's Jewelers is a proud Battle and Billy sponsor and big fans of our hometown team. Segner's has served generations of FISD families and friends and will be here to serve future generations. Located at 236 West Main Street or find us on the web at segnersjewelers.com. We're with you all the way. Go Billies. The Wizards of Comfort keep the Batlin Billies comfortable. Whether you need a heating or AC repair, need to replace your system, or need a tune-up, the Wizards of Comfort have you covered. Fully licensed and insured, locally owned and operated, fair upfront pricing, and flexible financing. Reliable HVAC services backed by the strongest guarantees in your neck of the woods. Give 72 Degrees Air Conditioning and Heating a call today, 830-307-7020, or visit us at 72DegreesTexas.com. As Fredericksburg celebrates 175 years, Arrowhead Bank is celebrating almost 100 years of serving the people of the Texas Hill Country. Our goal has been the same since we opened in Fredericksburg 20 years ago, to combine the relationship banking of yesterday with the technology of today for a better brand of banking. Arrowhead Bank is proud to support our students in all their endeavors, athletic and academic, and we're excited to celebrate their successes this year. Billy Pride, Eber Alice, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 423091. My name is Tammy, and I am a Value Med customer. The things that I love the most are the convenience, the speed, and the friendliness. Annette and Betty at the front window are always so friendly. I have called Bill, even Matt, for just personal questions regarding prescriptions or medication. Their helpfulness, uh, willingness to spend the time with me is something you don't get at the larger pharmacies. I just think they are amazing. And we're back to Edgewood Stadium in San Antonio and a great ball game by the Batlin Billies. Uh, another shutout, uh, they, uh, two shutouts in a row, a very solid first half. They were able to get lots of kids involved in the second half and get them some experience, and uh, the defense looked pretty fantastic tonight. Yeah, um, yeah and that's a good sign uh, as we go into our second uh, week of district uh, next week uh, against Somerset, you know, coming off of two – Two shutouts, gave up 75 yards. That's it. That's it. 75 yards yeah. uh, for the for the uh, evening uh, for that defense. So, I uh, got to feel really good about that. I think you got to feel good about the offense. We were able to move the football. Uh, you know, I realized that uh, you know we had some turnovers, we had some short uh, fields, uh, but we still were able to move football. I really was impressed how we threw the ball. Um, you know, I think we you know uh, been working on timing patterns. 
uh, little short passes, and then, you know, kind of threw one deep and looked good, had some time. So, I mean, there were a lot of good things that happened. And uh, like you said, still got some rest and got some young people, got some experience. Well, uh, Coach Wilder talked this week about maturity and how much this team has matured since that first game of the season. And I think you saw some of that tonight, especially in the first half. Uh, patience, moving the ball, taking advantage of some turnovers. And then in the second half, being able to uh, spell some guys and, and get some youngsters in there, the freshman Aaron Cantu, some sophomores getting some playing time tonight, and uh, some of those backups, which will be invaluable down the road. Uh, they move to 1-0 and in district play, as do Bernie. And uh, Somerset, uh, all three will move to 1-0, and and the Billies will match up next week at home with Somerset. Uh, we're waiting for postgame with Peyton after uh, Coach Wilder meets with the team. Uh, she'll catch him for just a moment and a short interview. We'll take a quick break and be right back after this. Or we'll stay here. <laughs> Maybe we will. <laughs> Coach Wilder has the kids down there. At, had the kids down there uh, talking to them on the sideline. It's a 36-0 shutout here tonight from Edgewood Stadium. And uh, the Billies, uh, like you said earlier, the bye week does us well. Uh, we, we rest up a little bit. We have an opportunity to some work on some things. Uh, we get through tonight's game. Uh, without the offensive coordinator who may be out another week or two, uh, but sitting at home. And, uh, Coach Huff, we're glad you joined us tonight. He's on injured and, uh, reserve yeah, missing, right now. <laughs> missing two coaches tonight as uh, another one out, uh, Coach Flick, a new father. Uh, yep, congratulations, wife, sir. Uh, had a new baby this week. And uh, so uh, a little shorthanded tonight. You know, uh, lucky that neither one of us got pressed into duty. Tonight. Well, you know, it's called next man up syndrome, you know. You know, so, uh, yeah, we're oh, fixing to have uh, exactly where we're supposed post game to be with Peyton. Everyone's and, you know, when you first said that, I forgot, and I went, is Peyton Manning? Okay. You know, I was thinking about <laughs> the podcast that they have. Well, let's see. Is Peyton ready down there? He's going to signal us. All right. She's trying to get Coach Wilder is. lined up. Looks like they're ready. We'll Good go evening, down Billy the fans. My name's Peyton, and I'm here with Coach Wilder. Congratulations on that win tonight. How important was that moving into district and that being an opener? I mean, it's a tremendously important. you got to get a foothold somewhere now that you're in district. You know, if you're going to be playing later on in the season, in the postseason, you got to win those district ball games. So it's one step forward, and we got a bunch more that we got to take. And what were some main focuses for tonight's game? I mean, obviously, we wanted to play great defense tonight, and the kids did a good job. They, uh, you know, got another shutout. And then uh, offensively, we kind of struggled a few times with our penalties, um, but we did move the ball well. We, uh, you know, we're, we were able to throw the ball. We had some good passes, and we, and we ran the ball well. So those were some things that we did really positive tonight. And what are some team goals moving forward? Team goals is to clean up our mistakes. I mean, mistakes in a critical situation – will absolutely, you know, set you back. So we've got to get more discipline and clean up our mistakes so that those aren't, the, you know, so that we aren't our own worst enemy. We've got to fix those things, and that's going to be our focus next week. All right. Again, congratulations on that win. We look forward to hearing more about it next week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great job there by Peyton Salato as a post game with Peyton and, and some key words there. Uh, by Coach Wilder, and, and echoing a lot of what you said up here. Defense played well tonight. We were able to throw the ball, run the ball well, and, and uh, focus going forward this next week. So we've got to clean up the mistakes, whether that be penalties or missed assignments. And he said that'll, that'll be the focus is, yeah, is to clean up mistakes. And they'll take care of those things. You know, yes. the coaches are going to make sure that at least the execution things and, you know, the, you know, the, the, the penalties, you know, that just comes with discipline. And, you know, coaches, uh, he's a wonderful disciplinarian. You know, he, he preaches discipline, discipline, discipline. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a good test. Uh, next week against Somerset. Yeah, and uh, the, get, the kids will be ready. The coaches will have them ready. And, uh, boy, we know discipline is important in whatever aspect of sport you are in. Congratulations again tonight uh, you know, to the Batland Billies. And, and I, I've got to tell Paige, Paige, you need a long-term contract for Peyton because if we don't watch it, ESPN is going to snatch her up. She does a great job. Yeah, yeah. She really does. She, uh, yeah. <laughs> she In her second 
uh, post game with Peyton. Uh, awesome job by her. Uh, once again, we'll thank you for joining us here on Billies.Live and TexasRadio.net. Uh, special thanks goes to SI Wealth Management, our title sponsor, and all the sponsors uh, that make this broadcast possible here on Billies.Live, and to Paige Finley and all the crew that, that's in the background, the camera guys in the truck, you name it. Uh, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, productions in the state of Texas, and, and Paige does an awesome job and you know that. what it's the people that behind the scenes that really get should get all the credit they, yeah, they do such a great job and we appreciate that guys keep up the good work they do a good job of making us look good yep. we'll talk to you next week it's somerset at home a seven o'clock kickoff and uh, you got girls volleyball coming up this week lots of action in billy's nation uh, be sure to check into Billy's.Live for all of your Billy's coverage. Uh, saying good night from Edgewood Stadium. For Tim Kamen, this is Randall King. Uh, good night and God bless.